welcome back to the second part of our Christmas special, 2023 Christmas special, where we're playing Imperium Maledictum, or at least we're playing some game that's a bit like Imperium Maledictum, I would guess, by this point. Um, where <laughs> our intrepid adventurers have been dispatched by their patron, uh, Ricardo Magentus, to um, investigate the uh, lack of um, delivery of some important sanguinolimus candy. Uh, and they have found, yeah, various things. Uh, what, have, what have you found out about the, uh, the lack of tithe support? Um, it does seem like the Ministorum are completely blameless. <laughs> 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 Nothing at all awry, all peachy keen. Right, with the, with the Ministorum particularly. With the Ministorum particularly. Yep. Uh, it does seem that there is... Shipments going missing. Yeah. Some very unhelpful servitors. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. In a warehouse. Not a lot of help there. Particularly Jeffricus, who was frankly useless. Jeffricus the servitor. Yeah, Jeffricus don't speak for them. Less useful than the ones that tried to grab us. <laughs> very realistic, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> standard. There's, the um, <laughs> there's some irritating rattlings. What do you mean? They were lovely. How could you not like I, those? I have learned to distrust cheerful Rogers. Okay, no cheerful <laughs> Rogers. Rattling, la rattling Wattlings or something. Rattling Roger rat Roger, Roger Rattlingsons. Ratty Watties. Yeah. Ratty Watties. Um, and yeah, and uh, unfortunately, in your, you've obviously uh, on the trail, hot on the trail of the hairy green mutant. Um, you have uh, been run, fallen afoul of being involved in a bombing yeah. and uh, have been arrested by the local Arbites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so in a you... very uh, unnecessarily rough way. Yeah, well, I was hoping yeah, you'd do some shocking. combat, but you, uh, yeah, you didn't do any of that. You just uh, <laughs> surrendered uh, and immediately got arrested by the Arbites. So, uh, well, yeah. I am a pest control officer. I'm not really up for... Not my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we will catch up then uh, in the second thrilling conclusion, the thrilling conclusion of this adventure that I cannot do the name of because it would give away the... Uh, anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you awake in an RBT cell, unarmed, battered and bruised, but alive. You, your pleas for leniency were ignored as all of you were trussed to the outside of repressor tanks and taken into custody. Now, after an intermediate time, the door is opened by a heavily armed arbitrator who motions you to leave the cell with his shotgun. Yes, sir. Okay, good, right. <laughs> good imperial servants we are, right, fine. Um, you are led down a series of increasingly more confined corridors and into a dark and oppressive interrogation chamber. The walls hung with devotional quotes on the subject of the emperor and the righteousness of the Lex Imperia. Um, uh, at the end of the room, raised on a dais and behind an ornate wooden desk, sits a finely attired Arbites judge in full armour and with a curly white wig perched on top of his helmet. <laughs> Only his mouth and chin are visible. As you enter, the Arbites guards by the door snap to attention and one of them yells out, Judge Fredicus Plod, presiding judge of the Grub Sector 7 courts, will see the prisoners. Fredicus Plod, oh no. <laughs> We're in trouble. Uh, and you're lined up in front of the arbitrator at the end, uh, who uh, uh, can, you, can only see his chin and his mouth. Would we have? I mean, how famous is Fredericus Plod in the world, in, in the Imperium at large? Might Obviously, we have heard of him. We know that Fredericus Plod is going to become very famous, uh, but but Obviously, at this point, early in his career, early in his career, he's oh, just okay. the presiding judge. From what you've you've heard there, presiding judge of the Sector Seven Court, uh, Judge Fredericus Plod who says, I hope this works on the microphone, yeah. <clears throat> does Fredericus Plod cannot open his teeth? I hate a weather adapter, meddle in my business. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't fall within my jurisdiction. What are you doing at the side of so heinous a crime against the Lex? Well, um, <clears throat> you, 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 uh, you have to understand, <laughs> I, I hope, um, in your great wisdom, that we uh, we never meant to intrude on on your turf. 
as it were. And um, we are merely trying to, in our own <laughs> insignificant and unhelpful way, um, solve uh, a situation regarding a very important business involving the Sanguinala um, chocolate uh, oh, you, candy. Oh, you know about the Sanguinala chocolate candy theft, huh? Yeah. The case of the Sanguinala chocolate candy theft. Yeah. <laughs> We must think, what brought you to Roger Rattlingson's house of treats? Well, as I'm sure you're already aware, uh, it was Roger Rattlingson's um, delivery trucks that exploded. And so we suspected that the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the not chocolate, the mocklet um, candy... I've never heard of chocolate. What's that? Uh, uh, candy manufacturer <laughs> uh, might have been where the bombs were planted in order to blow up the trucks when they arrived at the um, Arbusto Merchant Guild. What, are you trying to do my job for me? I don't take kindly to to other... What's your death to do your work for anyway? We're just trying to catch up with what you've already done. Yeah, damn right. (laughs) What's your death to do your work for anyway? Uh, I have the uh, the, the humble honour of working for the Adeptus Administratum. Well, the Administratum, huh? In this game, that's technically my bosses. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> I can still, you're in my turf and uh, nothing is above the lax and you're implicated in a major crime. So can you prove to me that you have no involvement in a crime? Well, we were actually on the way back to try and uh, solve a crime. I had actually... Um, Are you uh, trying to do my job for you? No, not yeah. I'm simply letting you know. Yeah. I'm trying to help because um, I was actually in the, in the in the midst of trying to resolve a crime committed um, by returning to you um, some badges that had been stolen from. Oh, officers. yeah, we found those on you. Uh, counterfeit Obates badges. Oh, they're, they're stolen, they're right? Well, I don't know. They're not ours. Who would have stolen some Obates badges? I don't know. That's that's a relief. You do all the talking for this group. Try not to. (laughs) He's merely the most loose lips mullard, as I'm sure you are aware. Is it a loose lip one? That's why you let him talk? No. I don't know why Judge Red's American now. (laughs) (laughs) We are here on a most important adepter business. Oh, yeah. As uh, As my cohort has already intonated, the Sanguinala chocolates, the shortfall in the Sanguinala chocolates. Yeah, hold on. We are here under great auspice of the Department of Seasonal, uh, seasonal Gifts. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> to investigate. We have been put on this by the Emperor under his auspice. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is delaying us. <laughs> oh, I'm down delaying you. Mm, well, what, you, what information do you got that I don't have already? We've been following this crime for it. I don't care about the tithes. I care about the law. The law's been broken by these evil heretics who are stopping the, 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 the chocolate getting to the kiddies of the old high sector. I can't do this while keep my teeth shut. It's really difficult. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, so unless you're going to bring me some new evidence, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. New evidence? Um, well, had you, um, are you aware of the um, heretic involvement? The heretic involvement, we suspected as much. Mutants, what? my lad. Mutants, mutants most foul. Have you seen all these mutants? Mutant scum, in fact. You, you inf- your enforcers stopped I our pers- your enforcers stopped our pursuit of a green pursuit. My enforcers were doing exactly what the law says. I, that I have no doubt. <laughs> What about these May movements? we speak of the Undercity, my lad? Oh, the Undercity. I got a lot of horses. I lost a lot of good men down there. <laughs> <I'm so laughs> it's, it's really difficult to say character. Like <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> I lost a lot of good men in the Undercity. In which case, may we venture there and save you losing any more? Why do you want to go to the Undercity? Is that where our leads take us? Ah, oh, how do you know that? Because we saw them. Well, yeah, down we, there? we were you... following a mutant when your 
enforcers apprehended. Oh, us. Well, it does make sense. Uh, there's a lot of mutants down there in the undercity. The uh, workers in the hive, the laborers are allowed to live down there. They're not allowed to live up here. Ah, I don't know which part of America I'm from now. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have seen the same mutant at multiple explosions now. The same mutant, you say? What do you look mutants like? Mutants of similar gait. Why, why this mutant? Green mutant. A green mutant, you say? Indeed. Ah, what sort of green mutant? Hairy one. A hairy green mutant. Hairy ah, hairy mutant. That's a specific sort of mutant, I think. Oh, are well, you aware of such a mutant? Well, I know. I've never seen a hairy green mutant, but there are some hairy mutants down in the Undercity. Do you know where right. to find them? Yeah. Well, let's find out. Um, do any of you uh, have any influence with the um, uh, Adeptus Administratum? Jesus, this I really, <laughs> really hurts to keep doing that. I hope I you finish have... this encounter quickly. Uh, well, first of all, um, our patron has plus two influence. If oh, yeah. Call on his name. And I personally have plus one influence mm. with the Administratum. Okay. So, um... I mean, I did invite the Emperor. Surely that gives us loads of influence. <laughs> <laughs> so can we name Ricardo Magentus, though? You can name Ricardo Magentus, so yeah. So we're here, and we, well, we named the office of... Um, my, was it my, yeah, my holiday, very, very important my thing, holiday, yeah. That's um, not going to get you a lot of bonuses, but yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and I, obviously they will send my ID badge, so they'll know that I myself am a member of the Adeptus Administratum. Mm-hmm. So can we? Yeah, uh, yeah you, do you, are you, because you got your ID got badge ID back. back. Yeah, you got it others, back. Yeah, yeah, good point. Hopefully, he'll <laughs> not take away my Sven Svensson, uh, Sven Sven Svensson ID badge. Sven Sven Svensson uh, of the Etapai Forge complex. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he won't take that away. Um, but I'm gonna. Can we try and call on him to? Uh, it wouldn't even be interdepartmental. Mm -hmm. um, Certainly not, well, not into a debtor um, cooperation. Just, what, what, um, yeah, what are you actually asking for? Well, we, we want us to let him go and point us where the hairy mutants are. Okay, for, fine. Okay, good. Um, so would that be a fellowship? Are you trying fellowship? Are we trying, we're trying rapport? Or we're not gonna, presumably not going to try and intimidate the RV test? I think that might backfire. Seeing as they already have all of our weapons, yeah, <laughs> probably a bad idea. Okay, so well, we're not going to... we'd be able to try and intimidate him would be not, obviously, physically, it would be with... The uh, repercussions of, of an, the external an artist that's coming. Yeah, but yeah. I still don't think it would necessarily work. <laughs> I think it would. So yeah, we're not, we're not going to try and order them for taxes. The diabetes off planet before they execute external artists. I mean, you'd think, right? Yeah. We're not going to presumably try and uh, audit them for taxes. No. With your special tax auditing powers. I mean, I don't think I should be the one doing another rapport roll because we've seen that I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Look, mine Who's... is only twenty five. So mine mine's only twenty six. We so... can really do with not a bard here. Yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. really useful if we had uh, some sort of persuasion bard yeah. uh, who used to work for the Inquisition. That would be great, yeah. Uh, not doing that, though. Uh, okay, who wants to have a go at this, then? Um, we're going to get... So, you just so you know, your patron... Being... Oh, that's true. I do you have a successful level because I am administratum. Yeah, yeah, and the patron gives you a plus two. Yeah, so should yeah. I just, yeah. just go for it? Yeah, just go for it. That, that is not bad. bad. That's a 38 against 28. So yes, yeah, so you actually... I one and I gain three. Yeah, okay, so you've succeeded by two. like two. That's quite good. Okay, yeah. brilliant. So this is what happens. Um, uh, the the, the uh, Fred bangs his gavel, mixing international law metaphors, uh, bangs his gavel on the desk, which he had, and goes, Okay, I like yours. I don't like, I'm low on manpower in Sector 7. I don't want to send any more of my guys down to the Undercity. If you want to go snooping around the Undercity, that's your problem. Uh, you'll just have a small fine of 100 solars for paperwork, and then uh, I'll let you free with all your stuff. Now, there's a lot of muty bars down the other hive. The one I suggest you go to is Harry Harry's Twist House. Harry. Yeah, nice. I mean, he ain't green, but he is a hairy son of a bitch. Uh, it's, a, it's a place of disrepute, that place. Uh, all the drugs of the Imperium are there. Maybe he'll know something about these filthy heretics you're looking for. Uh, and when we, these mutants do prove to be heretics, as I'm sure they will, we have your permission to exterminate them. Oh, yeah, you can do whatever you want, I don't care. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Do whatever you like, it's the Undercity, I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Thank you, Malas. <laughs> okay, I got some shipping to go look at. 
Ah, oh, fucking these explosions, man. It's so annoying. Uh, oh, yeah. Can we <laughs> ask your the judge to f facilitate vehicles for the shipments? You mean oh. vehicles for shipments? What are you? What shipments are you talking about? Well, we got to try and fix a problem that all the vehicles that take the yeah, but the whole factory's blown up now, isn't it? Yeah, or is it just, I don't think it's going to be many. The 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 loading area that got blown up. Uh, was, uh, the the loading in area got blown up. Yeah, yeah but they can still make more. Uh, yeah, they could. They can still make okay. more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We well. assume, and we haven't checked. Well, you know what, though, actually, I think we should probably um, ask him to help us contact Ricardo Magentus. Oh yeah, you can do that one if you want. One of the things that I remember. Mm. When I you you can contact your patron whenever you want. That's that's presumably okay. how you would call in a tithe inspection. And so, <laughs> yeah. What I'm going to suggest is, if it wanted, to, I can't remember the exact wording. But one of our boons from our patron is that he can organise transport a, a, and whatnot. Oh yeah, he is he is very good at organising transport. So yeah, that's very give good. Give him an update. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we don't right. have to get him to buy some trucks. No. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Can we get him to take the the Candy Sanguinius is directly from the Manufactorum to the uh, the Abbey, rather than stopping off at the completely unsecure warehouse. The unsecure week. shipping warehouse. Okay, cool, brilliant. That's good. <laughs> so um, you, you're going to get some patron points for this because your patron does like being kept up to date yeah. with things. He's a that micromanager. Um, although he also <laughs> loves uh, communications ciphers and uh, things that change regularly, just to obscure well, the what, message. What I would um, probably say so, is that so, I would have definitely used my security type stuff to. Um, put a cipher on it for him so he'd enjoy it. Okay, well, um, so Judge Fred gives you access to the RBT's Vox Relay, and you can plug your Vox beads into it, and you upload a data packet to Magentus, um, uh, asking for, from right, you're asking for transport to be arranged yeah. uh, for, from Rattlington's to uh, the presumably orbital conveyors. And, yeah, skipping... Yeah. Arbuster. Get the Arbuster resource. Well, in case, they, maybe they have to go to the Abbey to get blessed first. Okay, yeah, good point. Yeah, 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 good point. Good good role-playing there, Bobby, from the Ministerium. Great, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then um, uh, giving him an update. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, good. That's that's good. Well done. You've, 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 Ricardo Mencidentis will be very happy with that. Woohoo! Brilliant. Yeah. That's... Almost certainly going to give you a benefit when you try and might dial it back use a tithe inspection. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, I'll throw in some crystals as well, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, brilliant. So uh, you are you are processed. So you all find a hundred solars. Yeah, uh, it's put on your account if you don't have a hundred solars. I do indeed. Um, and um, so you're let back out again. into the uh, into the uh, into the area, <clears throat> ready to begin your journey down into the underhive. Under city, okay. under city, but not. I had ten solars, and I need to borrow some from you. <laughs> you borrowing ninety solars to pay the, <laughs> the fine? There's also some lengthy forms to fill in. I can do that. Yeah, that's my brilliant. specialty. Okay, good. Uh, but we I, didn't... Can, I can lend you ninety solars if Bobby, if um, Theophania can't. I can. You can. Yeah, okay, I... you can do it then. That's not like no money. <laughs> right. So should we try and make ourselves blend in down in the undercity? Do you think? Uh, right. So what's the yeah? Like what's the plan? You, you're going to go to Harry Harry's Twist Shack. Yeah, but I think we'll stand like a sore fucking thumb if we um, just turn what up. What do you mean? We... <coughs> well, I'm going to suggest that um, uh, the 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 rat catcher here might fit in in the undercity, and that I maybe can get what, away with it. What do you know about the rat catcher that would mean that he fits in in the undercity? I mean, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean he's filthy for a start. Yeah, he's <laughs> wearing yeah. lots just, of brown. Yeah, and you—you um, you are ab human. That's a terrible thing to say <laughs> to a person. But sanctioned ab human, I will allow. Uh, yeah. Uh, on the other hand, whilst your appearance is clearly the finest of us all. We will be entering an environment where perhaps others don't look quite as fine. <laughs> you mean those who live in the Undercity are not covered in his holy scripture? And they should be, but they aren't. Okay. Poor wretches. I know. <laughs> now, it might be helpful if just this once and for a little while, and I know this is going to require extra prayers later... <laughs> But perhaps you would consider wearing some sort of robe? I do happen to have my simple robes <laughs> in now, the lighter. 
That might be a good <laughs> idea. <sighs> I'm just saying. I believe if I do the correct penance upon the completion of this mission, that's <laughs> me. And if it would help, I'll be more than happy to help out with one or two of the um, hours of penance. Ah. That is acceptable. Not sure what you're offering, right? <laughs> but okay. Right. <laughs> while, while, we're at the, um, <clears throat> while we're at the lander, um, I think I should do the scrying gaze again. I'll find a moment when I'm okay. alone. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And try again just to find out the surroundings of the dog. Okay, okay, right. So you're going to try and do your... So in the last episode, just before being arrested, your, your little yappy canine terrier dog yeah. uh, went off chasing the green mutant. Um, so you're now going to do a scrying gaze, uh, which of course no one knows you can do. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm um, going to do, do it in the lander in a moment of privacy. Okay, while... what's your current warp charge? You, uh, you should have added one. You should have added whatever scrying great gaze is. Yeah, so it's uh, warp charge. That's one, yeah. Okay. And I've uh, threshold is three. Okay, uh, good. Uh, the, way, the way this works is, yeah, you, you've got a warp charge. Um, Currently on two. You're on two once you've done this. Yeah. Uh, if you go above it, you're going to have to start doing perils of the warp checks. Yeah. You might get eaten so how, by a demon. So how long before that wears off? Is that like for the entire One minute. Journey? One minute. We're, yeah, yeah. No, no, but I mean in terms of how long does his warp charge use? Uh, you have to purge, which is a thing you do. You have oh, to okay. purge your warp charge, yeah. So through meditation. I just want to point but, out that I did once see... Gar Ray reading a strange tome that did not look wholesome. Oh, really? How'd and you feel about that? And now he started hiding himself under his hood and sneaking off in the Arbus <laughs> lighter. Right. I'm wondering if I might start to have noticed that he's got a few more suspicious things about mm. him. It's very helpful, though. It is very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I, I, so I do still think I'll do it. I'm, so. I'm not saying I'm going to like grass you up yeah. or anything. I'm just saying my type potentially have noticed and could I roll a perception check? Yeah, you might well have noticed. Not to actually have any certainty whatsoever, <laughs> just to be slightly mm. more suspicious. But mm. hold on, doesn't it? Okay. It, I failed. You failed. Right, so and you, it's a critical fail. You, you still haven't noticed that um, that Gary has some weird abilities. Yeah, um, and I fumbled. And you fumbled it. So you, you actually think that he was just praying really hard. Okay. He's extra, He's extra, extra devout. devout. Yeah, he just okay. likes Asking. putting his head up and being extra devout. Yeah. Uh, I seem to be on a journey with two right. religious fanatics. <laughs> what was the psychic test again? It was... You need to roll your psychic mastery. It's at, easy 40. It, it's easy 40, so it's pretty easy to do this, this so scrying gaze. 76. Mm -hmm. Uh... I got a 89, so I failed. Okay, <laughs> by, so... By, by one level. By one level. So you, you can't quite tell... It's foggy. You can't, it's foggy. All you can see is, like, uh, you see this, like, impression of green, chompy green fur, but that's all you get. You don't really... You only fail by one, so that's what you sort of see. Right. When you try and connect with your dog. Okay. Mm. Uh, that's one more warp charge to you. Yep. Um, uh, oh. It'll be a little while before you can try again. Yeah. Okay, so, so, yeah, so we're at the lander, yeah? What's your preparation for this, uh, this, uh, this, this encounter then? <clears throat> well, you're being a squat. I'm being a squat and um, just, you know, I've got my gear that makes me look like someone who's a bit of a weirdo anyway. Okay. <clears throat> I suppose we should go and investigate the grate where we saw it going into the under city. Might be a sensible place to go under. Okay. Um... I'm not sure how we look down there, Oberlin. Um, can I try and get some extra ammo for my LAS pistol? You need to go shopping? I've got, yeah, I want to go shopping and okay. buy... Because literally I've got a LAS pistol with no spare ammo okay. for it. Okay, all right. Can I... Yeah, um, okay, brilliant. So let's, let's do a little... We'll do a little... In a brief recess, the gang goes shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Since you've just been let out. Uh, so you go to a hardware store and buy some LAS pistol ammo. I think that's perfectly fine. Have you got money left to do that? I've got 700 sodas. Oh, bloody hell, all right. Ooh, there we are, then. Fine. Uh, so you're going to buy some LAS pistol ammo. I have no problem that's with that. Fine. That's fine. Can you get some torches while you're there? I think that might be useful. Some torches? Well, we're going to the Undercity, but presumably they have, like... Lights. Yeah, it's just, like, a bad part of town, yeah. really. Oh, okay. So how, just how, that it's how under a great so I'm imagining. Or um, they're, they're pretty cheap. I think they're like okay. 20 or 30. Yeah, okay. pretty cheap. So we can say you've got a reload. Yeah, I've got a few, can I have a, I'll have a few couple or two or three, yeah. Did the RBTs, did they claim back their execution rounds? Uh, they've taken your execution rounds and they're, um, 
and they've manacles. taken the uh, manacles and they've basically they've taken their stuff back from your pocket. That makes sense. Have okay. I still yeah. got Sven Svensson? But you still have Sven Sven Svensson's ID badge for the Eta Pi Forge so I complex. I don't have the manacles mm. and I don't have the Arbeetes ID badges. Um, but I do still have the waste, um, the waste, some, the waste removal um, admin flunkies ID. Yeah. Yeah. Because that might get us in somewhere down there. Maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Especially with a security check. Okay, so what's the plan? Right, I think we go back to the great, like great, you said. Yeah. Mm. Go down, yeah. 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 I really? have, um... Oh, but I, with this guy sets bombs, so he might have set us a booby trap, so we should be extra careful already and be prepared. Mm. So I've got my all spec scanner. I'm going to okay. be using that a lot. Okay. So you 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 follow the directions limit, yeah. linked by um, by uh, Judge Fred, uh, who is is has given you directions to yeah. Harry Harry's uh, muti Harry's Harry's twist shack. Yeah. Um. Uh. And you're going with you're just wearing robes. That's your you're just dressed yeah. up like robes, like you just belonged in the undersea. Yeah, yeah I've, I've pulled my cloak armor, over so. my void suit. Okay. So. Cool. Brilliant. I mean, my, my robes are particularly. Crude and shabby as they are from my home world, okay, which is a feudal world. <laughs> okay, all right, fine. Um, uh, okay, so you, you go back to the grate, and when you get to the grate, you find that uh, yeah, so it's like it's like uh, it's got steam coming out of it, as all manholes should have in any sort of <laughs> entertainment. Um, <clears throat> and uh, standing next to it is your loyal uh, dog, uh, and in his mouth, he's been standing there for a day. In his mouth is uh, is a bunch of green fur. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So he stopped chasing. Yeah. Like, uh, well, it's gone. Grab uh, yeah, hold yeah. of it, but it it's a ladder like... down into the uh, down the manhole. Right. Dogs, dogs, dogs famously very bad ladders. at laggers, yeah. ladders. Yeah. It was too far down for him to just jump down a level. It's it's yeah, very yeah, dark yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah uh there's a ladder down into the undercity. Okay, so I've got a grapple and line. I'm going to secure that at the top. Okay. So that any Using of the ladder ends up in falling. It won't be. Are you going to do some health and safety? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> always very lacking in the world of 40k. Yeah. Well, I am very professional. <laughs> okay, good. Right, okay. <laughs> Not my first time. <laughs> health and safety gone mad. Pest control, got to go down these places all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to, I mean, can we all hook on to your line? Is it secure enough? I, I will not disengage it until we're all done. Okay. Okay, so you all climb down the line then. I'm going to say that's all doable okay. because... Um, <coughs> I'll carry my dog. Even with my very short legs. Uh, even with your very short legs, yeah, you can all go down the line. That's all perfectly fine. You're going to carry your dog. Yeah. Okay, good. So you all go down the line. You descend into the first layer of the sewers of the over city. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're rusted and dark and spooky. A um, uh, big sign on the wall says, like, uh, no no normies, uh, okay. twists only. Everyone else keep out. Okay. Um, and you follow a path um, down, uh, down uh, a number of, like, tw twisted paths. You're sort of, there's, there's a well-worn track in the ground where it looks like footprints have mm -hmm. gone, uh, shuffling footprints. Um, uh, and um, and the, 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 the branching sort of, it, you, the, the path twists off and you just go down whichever one's got the most footprints on it. Uh, you're sort of vaguely following directions, but the whole thing is like a complex of like tunnels under the... Under the natural, la yeah, labyrinthy type. Yeah, 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 it's a horrible labyrinth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> eventually, uh, you come through the... Uh, you, at some point you come in, can you just all do a perception check? Guys, the other one's not working very well for me in the last few rolls. Let's go for purple 61. red. Uh, 91, I failed terribly. Okay. Uh, I Awful. fail by two. I levels. get one level of success. Brilliant. So, uh, Bobby, as, as, you, as you go down a particularly dark uh, alleyway, you can hear some uh, mumbled voices up ahead. What? I believe we have company. <laughs> yeah. Everyone act mutey. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. No doubt. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so Brilliant. In my character's 
case that's affecting a limp. <laughs> you need, you're gonna, as good you're as have a limp. Okay, brilliant. You're yeah. gonna have a limp, and you continue walking. Yes. Okay, brilliant. So I'll you, start limping as well. You uh, you enter into like a like an old engine room. Um, and it's there's like three uh, like um, hunched over figures in shawls playing cards, uh, playing Emperor's Tarot, and they they look up at you and uh, and go, ah, oh, sup twist, what's up twist? Like that. That's how they say it. Sup twist. Okay, yeah, and then you're gonna just gonna say sup was back. Just... Okay, right, <laughs> and then what? Shuffle past them. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. What what's, what do we reckon disguise is in this? Um, maybe intelligence or fellowship, one of those two. Oh, your fellowship, it's probably fellowship, isn't it? Probably. Does someone want to do a fellowship check? I don't really want to. Mine but, is on 25, know. is that the last one? Okay. Mine is only 28. Nice. If only we had not a bard here. Yeah. If only we had some sort of persuasion bard here to do these things. Shall I do it on... Shall I do it? Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to try and like stay in the back and try more stealth round rather okay, than right. if that's <coughs> fine. They can all see you. They're just deciding <laughs> what, what, who yeah, you are. Yeah, and, you know, I'll try and go in front so they watch me the most. I yeah, guess. Yeah. I mean, linguistics. Could I try and sell it a little? Because I've got quite a good linguistic score. Can I try and use? Uh, it yeah, but you are going to have to then use the lingo. Uh, sup with the sup with the the twist. The twist, up twist. Okay, right. Is that where we're going with that? <laughs> All right, fine. I'll, I'll pick up on the lingo as we go. <laughs> okay, fine, out. good. Okay, so I have 18. Cool. Which is whether I do linguistics or rapport is at least a success. Cool. You have a short conversation with them about the horrific income gap between the rich and the poor yeah. in, uh, in, in Grubulon 15. Yeah. Absolutely terrible. Brilliant. And I can't, I, I'm not, I, I, can't, I need to pick up from you on the lingo before I can start doing the lingo. And oh yeah, good. All right, good. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. Cool. I'll see if I can stealth. I'm at least not wearing my armor and I just pass. Mm -hmm. Just barely. <laughs> okay, it sounds like uh, you managed to just greet them. Uh, they're playing their cards. You do a few mumbled things and you shuffle on past until you reach uh, a longer sort of like, you go down another level and eventually you come out into like a very dimly lit, like almost street with like flickering street lights. Um, outside, uh, let me just find out where I'm in going, hold on. Right. Mission music. Uh, <coughs> uh, <laughs> So, you, um, you eventually get to the destination you've been told to go to by the art. Um, a bar deep in the Undercity, in a dark and squalid sector of the city, frequented only by the mutant underclass. Uh, Harry Harry's Twist Shack is built into the bottom layer of an ancient hab block, um, way below the level that anyone still lives. Uh, the distinctive sound of pound music blares down the street, which you all recognise from novels you've read. Uh, a flickering neon sign of an imperial eagle hangs above the door, which is guarded by a hulking ogryn. <gasps> yeah. <clears throat> As you watch, an extremely hairy mutant covered in brown fur throws a smaller mutant with four noses out onto the rusted decking and then heads back in. The only people entering or exiting are mutants dressed in everything from squalid rags to whatever passes as like a fancy clothing down in this part of the city. Uh, it's clear that you won't get in unless you look the part. <gasps> uh, shall we wander over and try and talk our way past this Ogryn? And I, if I can't get you both in, I'll try and sneak around. I'll tell you, if I don't get you both in, I'll go in anywhere and, I, and try and find a side door to let you in around the back through the kitchens or something. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds acceptable. I do not believe I will be entering through the front door. Well, your limp might sell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's going up to talk to this old grin? It's got to be me, hasn't it? Yeah, you are the most muty. Looking. Yeah, I mean, I might be able to get you two in. What if I... Okay, so the, the old grin is not going to be the brains of this operation. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else who seems to be in charge of the old grin? Like, not, not outside. Not outside. No. Okay. We could distract him away from the door. Oh, yeah. I do have the little dog, and I can get him to do a trick nearby and see if we can oh, pull yeah. him away. I, I should point yeah, out that you are actually genuinely a mutant. 
Uh, yeah, but I, I, <laughs> like, I, you, I, I can yeah, just you can tell be... him. Oh, I am. Um, oh, by the know, way, I'm a psychic. And what am I going to do? Destruction down upon this entire sector <laughs> and bring my warp charge up to three would be <laughs> not great. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you could uh, just do, you know, make your eyes glow or something. Uh, make a rat dance around a space rat. That's too well, why don't you try distract? <laughs> why don't we try the distracting him thing first? And if that doesn't work, I'll go up and talk to him. Yeah, I think that's the best way. Get hey, how would you like to just try and distract this old grin? Well, I'm going to get my dog to do tricks in front of him, like a good 10 feet away from the door. Okay, right. See, like, see if he comes and over. And then you can try and, and grab him by the cuff and... Him and I'm going to be like, oh, wait, look at that. And he'll go look at it. And then while he's looking at it, we'll go in. Yeah. Okay, what? that's how it's going to go. What? All right, brilliant. <laughs> that's how we're trying to do this. Where are you trying to what? outsmart an Ogryn? Yeah. <laughs> it's an He's going to work. Yeah. Okay. What's the scenario you'll look at it and go, no. Nah. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's no downside to trying this. What? As what a... do I test against for like. <laughs> Dogs doing cute, cute tricks in front of like oh intelligence to see oh, if it oh, realizes to see if he's yeah it's intelligence to see if he realizes he's being tricked oh uh, yeah that's a good idea yeah okay all right intelligence test to see if the ogryn realizes it's being tricked probably quite low intelligence isn't he or yeah. would it be awareness or perception I think it'd be intelligence wouldn't it this would have went a lot better if it had had the bobbly ear things yeah it would have uh, bobbly yeah, ear things right. yeah the Amber's reindeer thing oh no, yeah it would have been a lot more fun. I thought you gave him the bobble. Oh, you know, you didn't know, you steal the bobbly ear things. Failed. Yeah, well, that's how you do it. Yeah, who knows? All right. So the, the advantage the, you get there. Yeah. The dog goes up and starts doing tricks yeah. in front of the ogryn. Just lie down, roll Canid. over and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the ogryn is, is, yeah, 27. Is one level of fooled by that. Right. So, uh, so I'm going to say that that means he does follow the dog and leaves the door, but you are going to have to do a stealth check to get in without being noticed. Right. Because he hasn't, he hasn't run that far away. Well, you two go in front of me because I can probably get in anyway if he notices me okay. trying to sneak in. The important thing here, so the important thing is Bobby trying to get in. Yeah, I'll... I'll... Yeah. Who's helping with that? So we... Well, so I stealth and... checks, but now that he's away, we're at advantage, right? Hmm. That is likely. Yeah, let's do that. I'll, I'll just try and sneak in. Sneak past the Ogryn, who's distracted by the dog. Yes. yes. So he has stupid, he has fallen for the dog, but he's not gone very far, so you're going to have to do a test. Okay. okay. Bobby does a stealth check. Uh, with advantage. Be... With advantage, I pass. You pass Ooh. your stealth check. So yeah. Bobby, with clad in nothing but a robe and a limp, <laughs> <laughs> sneaks into the mutie bar, because apparently she's got a mutant leg. Yeah. Um, a limp is a sure good. sign of mutancy, right? Surely. I mean, who had a limp if they weren't a mutant? So uh, I'm going to pull my hood off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to try and sneak in as well. Okay, fine. So I'm on 44. And with advantage... Seven. That's uh, seven, yeah. yeah. Seven, okay. So, so you, you both sneak into the meaty bar. Okay. Um, I mean, I am actually a mutant. You're actually a, an abhuman. Um, I'm an abhuman. So I, Does yeah. that count? I'll, I'll try and sneak in, but, you know, I'm not sneaking, sneaking. I'm sort of just walking in like you are, like you, like it's completely normal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is 13. Okay, you're all really good at stealth today. Yeah. 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 Not like the last episode. <laughs> no, no. So you've all <laughs> successfully uh, wow. used, you've, you've distracted the Ogrim with a small tiny dog yeah. and, uh, and all snuck into the muti bar. So inside the muti bar. Inside, everyone just assumes we're muties, right? Woo! Um, the, uh, so, yeah, all right. So, um, once you're in, uh, as, as you walk in, there, there are swing doors to the muti bar, obviously. And, and as you walk in, the pound music stops and everyone looks at you. And then it slowly resumes again. You can't, there's no one like, it's not being played on a piano because it's pound music. Yeah. Um, but uh, but it, it resumes again. And all the people go along to bustling around on their normal days. Um, it looks quite nice. It's got the air of like an old West saloon, but it's got like, you know, people are sipping like cocktails and Amasek, um, there's a mute, hold on, and this is where I'm gonna get out the big list of uh, mutations <laughs> in the Rogue Trader hey. rule book. Didn't know you had that <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Way more so that we can, uh, we can generate who the hell you're talking to. At least you didn't bring Slaves to Darkness with you. Is that a different mutation list? Here we go. <laughs> so, you see a mutant dancing on the stage, on a small stage, the mutant is 
has a hideous appearance uh. dancing on the stage. Two other mutants play the Emperor's Tarot. One of them has a scorpion tail, and the other one... Okay, well, that's a bit extreme. ...has a mace tail, and they're playing the Emperor's Tarot with their tails, apparently. Okay. Yeah, and um, uh, a couple of mutants uh, stand by the bar, behind which is a very, very hairy mutant covered in long brown hair. Um, around the edge of the room, there's like a door that leads to uh, a mutant bathroom, uh, and a door um, which says private on it, and a door that says stock on it, um, and uh, there's numerous tables, and there's a small piano, but no one's using it because everyone's listening to Jean Jack pound music. Mm. Everyone loves that. Can I tap my feet along with it? You can tap your feet, yeah, you can. You can tap your feet along with the pound music. Because you are off, of course, a twist. Uh, the pound <coughs> is massive. <laughs> yeah, all right, good. Um, <laughs> uh, at the bar are two more mutants. One of them has... Very warty skin. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one has... A horrible stench. Ugh. Yeah. Uh. Um, uh, behind the bar is everyone looks at you for a second and then goes back to what they were doing. Um, they're all they're all clad in a variety of like labourers overalls and like uh, stuff like that. Okay, shall I go and buy us all a drink? Are there any free tables? tables? There are some free tables. Yeah, yeah. Shall I go and buy us all a drink while you two go and get a table? I I'm going to be doing the like the, the Obi Wan Kenobi. Hood up, trying to look as inconspicuous as I can whilst, you know, having a chainsaw yeah. flapping around. <laughs> and it's, in, in my head, the music playing is... <laughs> Except, like, it's also, like, it's happy it's hardcore. Also yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, good. So it's, yeah. Yeah, try and find a table that's in, uh, out of the, you know, in the, in the dark... I am assume that that's most of the tables. Most of the tables are in the, the dark. Bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In my head, I did actually have another picture for this before we got here. When you said it was Harry, Harry Harry's Twist Shack, I was worried we were going to get here and there's going to be Jack Rabbit Slim's Disco Dance Contest. Uh, you did, no. <laughs> no, but yes. No, but no. Um, okay, I'll go and... Um, I'll go to the bar. Um, yeah. I'll try and time it so that someone else gets there just before me. Right. So I can hear what they order. Cool. So that I can try and order three of the same. Okay, so brilliant. Okay, so this is what happens. So a mutant approaches the bar. The mutant has is is quadrupedal or bipedal, which the opposite of whichever they're meant to be, presumably. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. So they're quadrupedal. This mutant with four legs yeah. walks up to the bar and they go, "Sup, twist? Can you give a twist some of that Jean Jack Amasek juice? Twist, okay. Sir Twist." <laughs> I'll go up to the bar. Yeah, I'll brilliant, go. good. And you're sup twist. Sup, sup twist to the barman. Yeah. He goes, sup twist. Give me some of that totally radical uh, Jean Jack juice. Jean, you want Jean some, twist. some some Jean Jack twist juice for a hard working twist? Yeah, three. Three Jean Jack, and he pours out three measures of. Um, Bright neon uh, alcohol, yeah. yeah, and 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 slides it across the bar to you, and he goes, "Ah, you have you been working very hard today? You twist, it's a twist." I'm going to say no because it's my lucky uh, my lucky week. I won big at the cards, and I'm going to slap down like whatever would be a, a decent um, amount of solas. Okay, right. Okay. So whatever, to which this, whatever would normally cost, I'll just. Double that so that he's like, and you can keep that. Very good. All right. So you um you you uh, slap down Solis, and he's like, ah, sir, sir, that's what we all want. Sir Twist, not enough to get up there out of the out of the Undercity, eh? Not quite. Oh well. Uh, good good luck with the tarot. I'm having it so far. The Empress smiling twist. Okay, so you go back and you sit down at your table. You notice that some other twists are playing Emperor's Tarot games yeah. uh, nearby, um, uh, and uh, you um, you sit back down and you you go on and you're, you're chatting away. Um, can you roll a uh, awareness check? <laughs> I am aware. But okay, only a brilliant. Bit. You notice as you go that I'm very the, much not aware. The, uh, 
65. No, I'm. You're neither of you, but you notice as you leave. You're you're slightly aware that he starts leaning over and whispering to a mutant with. uh, growth. Oh, so a very big mutant. Yeah, a big mutant. He leans over. Is he leans over. everywhere or just it just, it just says here, growth. Okay. Yeah, growth, growth. Oh, you might have to roll again to see which bit of him has grown. Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. This is exciting. <laughs> uh, sorry. This is, this is great. Brilliant, TV. brilliant TV here. <laughs> the, the, the mutant with the growth is uh, D3 plus one times larger than normal, and it is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, he is uh, two times larger than normal. Hey. Yeah. Right. So four times bigger than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, a growth mutant, um, he whispers to him, and the growth mutant sidles over to your table. Ah. I look up. Sup, Twist? Ha, <laughs> you're very good. Like this. He goes, hey, I heard, I heard you like playing Emperor's Tarot, Sir Twist. You want to play, join the game of Emperor's Tarot, Sir Twist? Oh, it's- we just hard working Emperor Lovin's twists here, and we just want to play a game of the Emperor's Tarot. Well, all, all <laughs> three of us? Yeah, if, you, if you've got the, the solars for it. Well, I only play for high stakes, so I don't want to be playing some stupid game out here. If I'm going to be playing some uh, Emperor's Twist, I want to be in on the big game. Uh, you want to play the em- game Emperor's Twist, Emperor's the Twist? twist tarot. Emperor's the Twist Twist. Yeah, Emperor's Tarot Twist. Emperor's Tarot Twist. That's the one. <laughs> well, we're, we're up for some high escape stakes. We, we've all done a double shift at the um, Corpse Starch Factory, an old down at old Juvo Starch. Mm. Uh, only the sweetest starch. It's uh, <laughs> a twist. <laughs> and uh, we, you know, we're, we're totally up for betting away all of our hard-earned solars to twist. Uh, I'm happy to take your money because I'm entirely confident that I will be victorious in this game of Emperor's Twist Tarot. Hey, what's your twist to twist? My twist? Yeah. My twist is Hully. Oh, okay, fuck, oh, that's the way. I real name. I was going to... Oh, what's my twist, as in... What's your twist? No, 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 no. I don't know. <laughs> Just making uh, words up. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I'm going to make up a fake name. Okay. I'm say my name's Selly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Selly. Well, I'm Jim Growth. Jim Growth? <laughs> yeah. And these are my buddies, Mace Tail and Scorpion Tail. Okay. And we're playing some, uh, some hard d- double bluff... Uh, Katachin straight um, Emperor's Tarot over here. Oh, you're, Brooks, you're, is that? I've not heard of that one, but I'm sure I'll figure it out quickly and still win. Okay, brilliant. Yes. So you settle down to, uh, and you have a convivial game of Double Bluff, um, Katachin, Blackjack, Emperor's Tarot. Um, uh, to see how well, so how, how are you going to play this? Anyone good at, uh, anyone would have any skills that mean they're good at uh, well, games? I'm, anyone I'm, can I'm, convince me they're any good at this? Well, I have good dexterity for trying to cheat. Okay, right. Um, which I'm assuming they expect me to do. Right. If I didn't try and cheat, that'd probably be suspicious, right? But I, I, I get. Okay, all right. Um, but then um, also, I'm fairly good at <clears throat> spotting stuff because my perception is high. So I should be able to spot if they cheat, I hope. Okay. And I've got lots of solas I can waste. So they might like playing against me because I might be losing loads and I can start complaining how I was winning and now I'm losing instead and they might want to keep playing. Because my only objective here is to keep an eye on the brown hairy bloke who is probably Harry Harry. Harry Harry, the, the guy, yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming that that's the, my entire purpose of playing this game is to have a legit excuse to keep a close eye on Harry Harry. Okay, cool. And you two are involved in this as well? No, I'm going to just stand at the bar. You just stand at the bar? Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, so uh, let's do some checks to see how... Why don't you do a fellowship roll okay. to see how well you're... Uh... That's a bad start. That's a <laughs> mega, mega, mega fail. Okay, great. Uh, uh, six, six levels of failure. Yeah, so after um, six levels of failure, are you playing the game, Bobby? I wasn't planning to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why did you make me make a fellowship roll? Um, hmm. <laughs> But I'll join in because I want to try and <laughs> win some. Or, no, try and stop. Okay. okay, Holly from completely blowing it again. Okay, uh, 
match. Brilliant. So you hobble over mm. to the uh, game while uh, so Holly's been playing the game, but he's winning too much. Yeah. And the the mutants are getting a bit annoyed. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, and fine. they're a bit worried. They're like they're like they're, they're one of those like yeah you you one of those tw you ain't one of those oh, one of those uh, twists with all that precognition are you? Yeah. Oh, we don't like those sort of those sort of oh we're we're emperor loving twists in here. We don't like any of that any of that chaos nonsense. Can I try and do a dexterity check to cheat in order to lose? Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. Oh, uh, that's also a horrific failure. Yeah, you're right, you <laughs> accidentally are so good you keep winning. <laughs> yeah, so they're not happy. Bobby limps over, <laughs> hilarious. The the Theodora, uh, uh, making much of her gammy leg. Yes. Her mutant leg. <laughs> Uh, limps <laughs> over um, and attempts Stop to join in the game. Limpy twists. Lim limpy twists. They're like, hey, hello, twists. I hear you're a limpy twist. But I'm, I myself have a scorpion tail. Such as I see. <laughs> you're not winning again, are you? I'm sorry, I am. Yeah, we're starting to believe he's one of those those chaos twists. We're, of course, all emperor-loving twists here. None of that chaos twist nonsense. No, no, no. Uh, we don't like that around here. I'm starting to look a bit worried, obviously. I, I, I'm so glad to hear that. I pat one on the back. You haven't heard about all that, those explosions and nonsense happening up there? Oh, good. Okay, right, interesting. <laughs> what are you trying to do here? I'm trying to... <laughs> Actually, get a lead. Yeah, get some information because they're just playing cards, <laughs> right? right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just trying to play I'm the game. Trying Bobby. to win all the money. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get. I actually have quite good intuition, so I'm going to try and get a read on whether they're actually, or if they're just pretending, if they're but actually chaos twists. Chaos -y. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I should I should know what a chaosy type looks like. Okay. Good it's point. Part yeah. Of my yeah. Job. yeah. You are, of course, disgusted by this whole whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've got intuition of 41. Okay. But which I massively fail. Cool. Yeah, yeah you, you can't tell whether they are telling the truth or not. They ask. They're like, ah, oh, why'd you ask? Why'd you ask about that? Ah, oh, we've heard of that too. It's a twist. It's, <laughs> we've heard of so that's it, a two. <coughs> the twist. There's, there's obviously bad twists. M ruining the reputation of us good hard working twists. Yeah, we're good hard working to twists. To twist. And we gotta do something about them before the lawman comes and does something to all of us. Oh uh, yeah, we've we've uh, we've been in trouble with with the, the old RBTs as well. They hate us to twists. Ah, uh, they dragged all three of us in no, earlier. You can say something horrible about Fredericus Plod. Oh yeah. Point. You yeah. say something horrible about Plod. Like, not to imply that we had that much close contact with him, but it's like, yeah, Fredericus <laughs> Plod's boys uh, gave us good old... They roughed us all up and... Well, I'll show on him couldn't where he got roughed up. Couldn't he couldn't understand what he was saying if he <laughs> just <laughs> opened his mouth a bit. <laughs> yeah. So Fredericus Plod, you're going to try and convince them... Of <laughs> Plod okay, like good. His... Good idea. Yeah, okay. They're like, oh, yeah, well... Uh, we don't go in for that sort of thing here. Uh, the thing is, uh, we ain't no heretics. I mean, some mutants, some mutants. Look, I, I've got a cousin who, uh, who's a bit of a heretic. Uh, but we, we're, we're all good heretics in here. He sort of looks a bit good shifty. Heretics. Yeah, we're all good twists in here. I've got a cousin who's a bit of a heretic, but you know, that's how, that's how it goes with these twists, eh? So he, twists? He, he wouldn't happen to be green and hairy. Green and hairy, you say? Mm. Oh, it doesn't sound like one of us so good to twists. Say, hey, why do you want to look for a green and hairy guy? Well, as I say, Someone's, someone's causing trouble upstairs. Well, I can see you as well. He leans in and he's like, well, I'm just here to play some cards. I'm a, I'm a good hard work in the twist, uh, oppressed by the law. Um, but... Uh, we just don't want to get more oppressed. They're gonna, if, the, if things keep going bad upstairs, it's us that's going to get the blame. 
Okay, yeah, good, good, good. Well, how does he react to that? He goes, yeah, well, that's what that's what we keep telling those other guys. But uh, but yeah, they don't uh, believe us. What other guys? You know, the, the chaos twists. Look, I don't want to talk about it. You want to talk about the chaos twists? Oh, I don't like those guys. But you know, I've got this cousin. Uh, he's got he's born with the big goatee face. Well, we uh, don't want to up near them. Yeah. How, where do we need to avoid to stay the hell away from them? <laughs> Well, if you don't want to meet any of those chaos twists, well, I'd uh, I'd stay out of the back room here, if you know what I mean. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll definitely need to do that. Um, Thanks for the heads up twist. Yeah, yeah I don't good just twist. you stay away from us. Good twists. We got nothing to do with that. Uh, that uh, we were good end for a bothering twist. My little my little twist kid. He loves a good candy sanguineous. Big fans of the ninth Primark. Ooh. But we, we did hear those, those, those chaos ones. You know, oh, terrible. I'm going to um, do this and uh, reach into one of my slings and break off a bit of my candy sanguineous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to bribe him with some candy yeah, sanguineous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He sort of, uh, he uh, opens his uh, neck and puts it into a second mouth okay. in his neck, yeah. And then he's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's tasty. I do love that candy. Say, what, what Primark did you get? Uh, Jagged Icon. Oh, Jagged Icon. My my little kid with the the cloven faces. Uh, he's uh, he he's got all of them except Jagged Icon. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. My little twist kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. So like that. That's a shame. What do you say? I wager you your jagged I can't for some information to twist. Yeah, what information? Well, I'll tell you what, what information you got for us then? Well, I can, might be able to put you in the direction of some of those twist. Look, us good twists here, us good twists, we don't go in for all that. We, we're emperor loving twists, but there are the bad sort of twists. And maybe they. Maybe they, maybe, maybe you want to speak to them about this heresy you're talking about. What? And you'll lead us to them. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a tip. All I need is the no, final. Take us there, the and final... then you can have the jagged tie. Oh, I'm well. I mean, they won't let me in. I've only got a. Hold on, what do I have? I'm only large. <laughs> <laughs> That's not chaosy enough for them. It's the you twist. It's the you twist. Don't need to get us in. You just need to take us to the actual place. Yeah, okay, but first you've got to win a hand of cards. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's play some double bluff Tachin style Emperor's Tarot. Okay. Which we're going to do using an intelligence check. Ooh. Yeah. Am I allowed to cheat? I probably maybe I don't want to cheat. You can much. try and cheat. <laughs> uh, do you want me to have a I'll join it? As I'm there in the conversation, I'll see if I can win that. Okay, hand. all right, can fine. I, um, so can I do a dexterity check? Yeah. Gain advantage on the intelligence check. What? Because I'm going to cheat. Are you going to cheat? Okay, fine. You can do a dexterity. If you succeed the dexterity check, yeah. I will give you advantage on the yeah. intelligence check. So I have seven on the dexterity. Okay, that is quite a good success. So now you get advantage on your oh, yeah. intelligence check. <laughs> awesome. Post check, I will roll. Yeah. 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 So on the, um, what do you call it? Um, intelligence check, yeah. I have 91 because of advantage, or it would have been 19. Right. Uh, so I cheated good. No, you want the, you want the low world. Yeah, you want the low number. You want 19, 19 because yeah, of advantage. Right, right. okay, 19. good. Uh, Bobby? Uh, I'm on 15, so I actually got a level of success as well. So you're both doing very well. Mm. Uh, it turns out the growth, the, the large mutant is incredibly stupid and has rolled <laughs> 99, <laughs> <laughs> therefore Critical massively failure. losing the hand. He's been playing fumble, with, fumble failure. Which is a fumble. He's been playing which, with his yeah. cards facing us. Yeah. <laughs> he's accidentally been playing with his cards the wrong way around. Um, so he loses because he's a stupid mutant. And, um, and he grumblingly, he's like, okay then, look, I'll let you in this place, Sir Twist, uh, but you better be careful, because it's all the chaos twists in there, Sir Twist. Uh, the only thing I can vouch for is you go and speak to a guy, yeah? Go and speak to a guy, he's called Barry the Beast Man. Barry the Beast Man? Yeah, Barry the Beast Man in there. Man. He'll let you know if anything's going on, but you better convince him you're on the side of of chaos, because uh, he's he's a good old heretic, is Barry the Beastman. Is Barry related to Harry? Barry's not related to Harry, no. Completely okay. coincidental. Okay. Um, I, I feel, feel sorry for this guy, so I want to give him a little bit more chocolate. Oh, okay, very good. Yes. So it thanks too bad thanks the twist. Lost. And he, he didn't... Twist. Yeah, he didn't get the Jack of Tycon, did he? No. Oh, he didn't. 
Oh, sad. If I, once, this once, little once, kid with a cloven uh -huh. face is going to be. Uh, if we win, yeah, and I happen to bump into this guy again, I do plan to give him the Jagatai Khan. Right. But the Jagatai Khan might still be useful for later. Okay. So. Because I'm a nice guy. So he leads you to the door marked private. And he opens it, and you're let into a different room. It's the back room of the bar. Except this room is all dark and spooky and sort of cool. Is there still around mutants in there? There are still mutants in there, but now they're a different sort of mutant. They're all disheveled, and they've got eight-pointed scarlet stars on their clothes. And some of them are really smelly, and some of them look really angry. You're going to need to do a willpower test, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> and uh, at least three of them are, at least two of them are uh, beast men with goatee faces, and they're drinking like black Amasek. And generally it's like eviler, but much cooler than the normal <laughs> twist bar. Uh, in here, the, the, the pound music has been replaced by like sinister horror movie themes. Huh. So which one is Barry, I say to this guy? Which guy? So the oh guy yeah, he, he points at two identical beast man and he goes, uh -huh. that guy over there, that's Barry the beast man. Both of them? Yeah, both. We, we, we point, you can't tell which okay. one he's pointing to. I thought they were actually just both Barry. But Barry no, one, no, no, Barry's one person. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that Barry was just a clown. Uh, yeah, and everyone, again, everyone looks at you as that you enter, and the music dies down, and then it starts up again. <coughs> going on, twists. Stop. <laughs> you going, you going up to Barry the Beast, man? Uh, I think, should we just go straight to Barry? I think so. I think yeah. it's best. I think we need to look confident. Yeah, let's look confident and stroll up, stroll up to Barry the Beast, man. Or limp. Yeah, you can limp. You can limp up to Barry the Beastman. That is your only mutation, after all. Okay. Uh, they all look very suspicious of you. Yeah, and they're like, uh, uh, Barry the Beastman's like, uh, very good to meet you. Uh, hail, hail the dark gods. Uh, <laughs> Twist. Uh, praise be to the dark gods. Instead of replying, <laughs> he says directly <laughs> to to Theophania. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try and jump in. I think you need to. I think you need to do a willpower check. Yeah. <laughs> this bar might suddenly be on fire. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's 15. 15. I, 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 I managed to pass with a whole level of willpower. So Brilliant. You hold yourself back long enough for me to push in front of you. <laughs> and I'm going to push in front and say, well, yeah. And that Fredericus plot too, he can burn for all I care. And the, the beast I don't like, quite want to bring myself to start praising dark gods, frankly. He's like, but, yeah, but uh, 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 all of them. And in the fires of chaos, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't you guys love chaos? Oh, burn. Burn. They should all burn like you say they should yeah. burn. I, you, can you do any chaosy things? I can tell you about how Fredicus Plod is on your trail. Oh, why would he be on our trail? Because of the green one. The green one? I don't know what you're ta talking about. The explosions. The explosions are nothing to do with us. Are they not? No. Can we do an intuition test to see if I believe him? Yeah, okay. I passed by three. <laughs> yeah, he seems genuinely shocked you, that you'd think he was, uh, he, was, he was doing any sort of uh, stopping of Sanguinala. The, well, the, the one I'm, that was saying burn everything yeah. <laughs> is, is believable that he didn't want to burn Yeah, he's believable. When he said he didn't want to burn Sarkanala, he so seems I, pretty convincing. Right. I'm going to then go, oh, because I seem surprised because I thought you'd be well into that sort of thing. <laughs> no, we do like to convert people away from the emperor. Yes, that's true, but only by uh, pamphlets and leaflets. It's obviously there. There's no point having them if they don't believe. Thankfully, the Imperium is so oppressive, they all turn to our side eventually anyway. Anyway, uh, no, we love Sanguinala. As I say, I particularly like the little models of the Primarchs. Oh. <laughs> well, I like this one. 
Yes! I believe, isn't that the heretic evil Primarch Jagatai Khan? It is. Would you like to have him so you can crush him mercilessly? Well, yes, I love playing the bad guys. <laughs> okay, I'll pass it over. Do you want to give him the heretic Primarch Jagatai Khan? Yes. Okay. But not the child. <laughs> but not, I can't give it to the child anymore, obviously. Um, You've given it to a beast man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not. Um, I'm slightly worried about the fact that I've got a... Um, I, I, yeah, you should I, probably I, get, like, I'm me. just... My character's just holding herself Yeah, I back. think you should probably have another willpower check. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, I, I just fail by six. Just fail by six. Okay. Uh, you uh, mutter out a praise like, uh, uh, cursed heretic. You say something like that under your breath. And the beastman yes, is... Yes, Jack cursed heretic. Oh, yes, yeah, very good save, Russell. <laughs> 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 yes, he is a cursed heretic. <laughs> I, I haven't got this one, though. <laughs> Uh, it's just like the Space Marine Heroes set. It's like you don't know which one you're going to get, and you've got to collect all of them. So you've got to keep buying more yeah, and more Space Marine Heroes. It's exactly boxes. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I'm going to sort of suggest then. Well, if you're if you're happy with your pamphlet methodology, yes. Would um, you like some new good news about the the, the lovely bad, worship the of God, our, our lovely worship Absolutely. of corn? Yes. Would you like the bad news about our lovely <laughs> master corn? <laughs> Um, I'll, I'm going to make sure I get the pamphlet instead of her. Otherwise yes, he, he hands you a badly printed loses. pamphlet about the benefits of worshipping corn. Of thing. Like, I'll read it later. Yes, it's very good for the mental, the mental health. So, it allows so, you to purge all the bad emotions. So <laughs> can we ask if, if, if he isn't involved, does he know who is? Involved with yeah. the explosion because we want to stop them to doing things the wrong way, so that you can carry on doing things the effective way. Oh, I see. You want to see if he's uh... okay. Well, let's. Um, do, you, do either any of you have influence with the dark gods? No, I don't think that's the thing in this game. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did see something about that actually, in terms of that you can get um... corruption. So you mm. can get a specialization, not an, not an influence immediately, but you can get a specialization in law into. Oh yeah, oh, so knowledge. you can yeah, I so you can be like that. you can know a lot about yeah, about I the don't evils. Have that. No, okay, right. Uh, so what were you trying to do again? I've forgotten. We're going to basically ask because he know who is doing the explosions. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. To fess up on um, the 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 Grinch. The the, the Grinch. Grinch. Yeah. Um, Grinch. Okay, you you go. Um, uh, you were what you, you so he, he responds. Oh, no, I don't know anything about it. But I did hear that one of the mutants in here had some sort of involvement, and then suddenly he um, falls down dead as a las blast blasts out across the room. <gasps> And, one, and, and suddenly, from the end of the room, you see, jumping on the table, a hairy green mutant who yells out, Don't believe them, lads! No, he yells out this, he goes, Don't believe them, lads! No, they are the servants of the Emperor! Uh, they are not even the Chaos Worshippers! No, they are not even here to help you! And then he runs, scampers off out of the room, and suddenly, all the Beastmen turn to you and start standing up, ready for a fight. I don't think we're going to get out of this one, are we? <laughs> and other things happen, like the uh, barman battens down the bar and hides underneath the yeah. bar, and various people scatter out of the room or hide under tables, and a few people get up ready to have a fight with you, which we're now going to do. You send, um, have, you, have you still got your dog with you at the moment, uh, Garay? He's outside playing with an ogre. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's busy distracting an ogre at the moment. As I've been holding back the friends. I think it's... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. I think you might be extra frenzied this time. Just trying to find an appropriate bar-like uh, area in this sci-fi book. You would think any any reputable sci-fi book... We would have a sci-fi bar. There we are. That's look, that looks pretty much That'd like be. a sci-fi bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got a bar and everything. There you are. Then I can even put zones on it. This is how combat works. So here's zone one is upstairs. Uh, and zone two is downstairs. And zone three is behind the bar. So, I'm going to say that, that you're all... Uh, so I'm at the bar. You're at the bar. So I did not play cards. And oh, no, then... We're in a separate room now. We're in a separate room now. You're in a different room for the cards. And the dog's oh, out there yeah. playing tricks on the Ogryn. Uh, you're in this dark alcove. And um, some stuff's going to happen, so I will just quickly... Uh, so the green guy has run off this way out of the... Uh, door. Okay. Yep. Um, and uh, you are... You currently are over here. 
um, and uh, the, uh, there are two beastmen and two cultists to fight. So, we're going to do some fighting, everybody. Yeah! Yeah! So, yeah, um, although, you might want to get out of this as quickly as you can and get, uh, get, uh, get after that green guy. Yeah. Um, but here we go. So, we're going to do some fighting. Uh, let's do some combat. And this time, we're actually going to do the combat. Ready? Uh, do, try and get... Yeah, I mean, you know... Yeah. Combat's lethal. You can all have a go at this, but you've all got lots of toys. Yeah, I've got a gun. The beast men stand oh, up, ready, ready for fighting at you. Let me find out. Initiative. Their initiative is six. Mine is uh, eight. Yours is eight. Okay, fine. Are they all? Uh, are they all? Is it the beast men and cultists have different sets? Of um, so I'm first, am I? Yeah. Can I? Just try and shoot whichever one looks toughest. Cool. Okay, so, you, so the, the closest guy is the beat this beast man here. Yeah. You can uh, try and shoot him. I'm going to try and shoot him. Brilliant. He's in your zone. You're all in zone two. Is this going to have any modifiers, or is it just I roll under? Um, yeah. So, range? so again, like um, you've not really. Uh, I suppose. What, how are we going to calculate superiority here? Like, do you know? Have you? You haven't really planned for this fight either. No. 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 We need to plan for some fights we sometimes. Have yeah. Some fights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Okay. Brilliant. So uh, no, you're just going to get modifiers. You're just going to shoot a beast man. I. Oh, 97 again. Cool. Uh, you can move as well. So you can do an action and move. Yeah, I, I wasn't planning to move. I was just shooting, and it's um, seven levels of failure. Okay, brilliant. So you very definitely missed the yes, beast, man. Yes, but it wasn't a fumble. <laughs> it's not a fumble. You don't hurt yourself. Brilliant. Okay, then it's the, it's the go of various cultists. So mm. what we'll do is the accursed cultist, who is carrying an, um, a lashing tentacle, uh, is going to attack you. Uh, the runs up to the person who just shot him. Which is Sally, which okay. is Holly, sorry, and uh, tries to attack you and Malia. You're going to try and dodge or fight? I'm going to try and dodge. Brilliant. Okay. Roll an opposed roll. I have. <gasps> That's good. I, 20. What's your uh, dodge? Uh, what's dodge? Dexterity? Yeah. Uh, 45. Cool, so you do it by two, two success oh, two levels? Successes. Well, 25 uh, under, so is that two success levels? Or? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's two success levels under, uh, whereas I only get uh, one success level under. Wow. So, uh, you, so you um, uh, have got more success levels than he did, so you dodge him. Yeah. Uh, so then the next guy comes up, and he's going to go for... Uh, he, d well, he doesn't know that Gary is with the team yet, so he's going to go for... Uh, he's going to move over to... Uh, you, um, mm -hmm. uh, Theodosia, are going to try and attack you. And I will try and attack him right back. Okay, brilliant. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Um, I get three levels of success. I get two levels of success. So you win. So you attack me. Oh, and I got... It, it would be in the nine, so in his body. Uh, so you've got nine on his body, and how much damage do you do? Six. Six damage with to an accursed rend. cultist body with two rend. You've read the rules, haven't you? Let's armor. So he's only got armor two. Uh, you do six damage, so he is wounded. Okay. He takes five wounds. So that's a... Uh, that's that happened there. And he's I taken five wounds. Armor off. And you've... Uh, well, you've, you've rendered his armor. So you've gone through his armor. He has two armor, which you've ignored. Oh, no, a rend removes oh, armor. Oh, so he has no armor left on his body. <laughs> okay, fair enough, brilliant. So then the other two accursed cultists, normal cultists. The first cultist, um, so the uh, first cultist will uh, stand here and they're going to open fire uh, over here at you uh, with their auto gun. <clears throat> uh, their range is, uh, their ranged skill is 40. They're going to try and okay. hit you with 40. Do I get a dodge from that, even though I'm in melee? Uh, let's have a look. That's what it so, does. Uh, so he's just going to shoot you. He needs 40 or under to shoot you. Okay. He gets 27. Ow. So he shoots you with his auto gun. Ow. Oh, I wish no. I was wearing my armor. Yeah, if only you were wearing. Are oh, you not wearing your armor? No. Oh, I yeah, because you took your to armor off to the... sneak in. Mm. Oh, yeah, because it's loud armor. Mm. Yeah. Bugger. Right. Well, an auto gun, which he's only shooting with a normal shot because um, his mates are nearby, so he doesn't want to. Uh, he's only shooting his auto gun with a normal shot because his mates are nearby. Mm. So this cultist then attacks you and does. Um, six plus success level damage, so he does eight damage to you. That's quite a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, Holy shit. I know, um, and it's loud, so it, people people run for cover when they hear it. So the last cultist is going to go forward, and he's going to try and shoot as well. Again, a single shot, um, and he needs another forty to see if he can hit you. Uh, Eighty-six, so he misses horrifically. 
Brilliant. Mm. Now it is your go. So I think what I should do <laughs> is throw a choke grenade at the two at the back. A choke grenade? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Go for to it. Stop them shooting and give us time to deal with the ones closer. Brilliant. Okay, let me look up throwing grenades so that we can figure out how to do this. <laughs> Cool. So, brilliant. Okay, great. So you want to throw a choke grenade. So Gary moves over here and throws a choke grenade at zone one. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so uh, roll to hit. You just need to sort of avoid a fumble, really. So, ballistic skill or...? It's, it's, uh, uh, it'll be your range skill. All right. 33. Cool. Okay, so 33 to hit. 37. Cool, so you've, uh, it's gone into zone one, that's close enough, you probably don't hit the exact person, but you only have to hit the zone. Uh, so everyone in the zone has to take a fortitude test with a minus two. Um, their fortitude is just gonna be their toughness. Uh, so the first one fails and is stunned, and the second one also very badly fails and is stunned. Mm. Brilliant. Uh, the people are, that are hit here are gonna be dazed and disoriented. Um, uh, they can either move or attack, but not both, because they're choking. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, uh, next down the list is Bobby. What are you going to do? Can I see if my uh, frenzy goes You off? can start to frenzy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it sure does. Okay, brilliant. You're now frenzied. Which means I get plus one to my strength. Okay. And immune to fear. Brilliant. I think the, these are fear. They're not that mutated, are they? Okay. <laughs> so presumably you're going to attack in melee the guy in front of the you. The guy in front yeah. of me, yeah. I'm going to try and purge some heretics. Okay, brilliant. With your chainsword. With my chainsword. <laughs> Great, okay. So it's so a opposed melee for. check. Um, great, I fail by three levels. Uh, I also fail, but by two. Okay, so that Do means you... you I think that means nope. you technically win. You can win, but even though you failed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can. So, so yes, uh, just by that, you do actually win. So, what's the chainsaw doing? Uh, this turn, because I have the bonus strength, it's going to be doing a grand total of seven damage. Seven damage. Bloody to hell. To the unarmoured mutant. To the, well, where, did, where in your body did you hit him? Uh, five. five. Yeah, okay, cool. So, uh, it does seven damage, the unarmored mutant. He was already down five, and he only had 11. So that means that the unarmored mutant is deaded. You have killed a mutant. For which the I believe, um, <laughs> now, now, cultists only have a resolve of one, uh, which is important, <clears throat> because it means that once one is dead, they are now desperate. Okay. Uh, because they are now, you now have a superiority of one, or they're, they're They've lost enough people to be desperate. Uh, so they're going to try and get away. Um, now, it's uh, Selly's go, uh, Hully's go. Okay. So what will you do next? Um, well, there's one you currently are, standing... You are engaged, in with a, uh, engaged with a mutant yeah. here, yep. Well, I'm not very good at killing, so I'm just going to do some dodging so that I have advantage when he attacks me. So you, your action is dodge. My can, action is can to... Can you show that some things like run, and maybe he'll just leave? Because, as I said, he's desperate to get out of there anyway. Would that be a free action to shout at him, run? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to shout at him, run for your life, or run and run, run, or, you know, run and flee the purging mm -hmm. heretic. Flee the purging heretic. <laughs> yeah, that's your, that's your battle cry. Brave. Whilst pointing at the <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's doing the actual purging. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, he, he doesn't. Uh, but you are now dodging, I am so dodging, you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, brilliant. So you're dodging. That's your action. Um, then we then go back to the um, them to the start. So it's them. Yeah. So uh, they're now desperate because they've one person's been killed and they only have a resolve of one. So the beast man in combat is going to attack you again. Yeah. Uh, you got an advantage on dodge, but he's going to yeah. attack you with his uh, his lashing tentacle, his warp claw. Um, he gets. Uh, yeah, he isn't doing very well. Uh, he fa he gets. He fails by two success levels. Oh, he has I minus felt two. Well worse than that. 68. Even with advantage? Um, yeah, even with advantage. I rolled oh, 86, no. but 68. Um, and it's against... Uh, what is it? It's against... Melee. I, um, or dodge. Reflexes. Yeah, reflexes. So I failed by 28. So two. 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 So uh, I failed by... Two. 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 two, and you failed by yeah. two. So both parties get an opposed test in the same SL. The KO with the higher skill wins. Yeah, your reflexes is 40. Yeah. And my uh, weapons is 50, so I hit you. Oh. Yeah. I hit you with my warp claw, uh, or my axy thing. So uh, the cultist hits uh, Hully three plus 
uh, success level, uh, which is weirdly minus two. So I assume that one means damage. I do one damage to you. Now, uh, it counts count as one arm. Rend so one. Uh, so, you so I've ripped apart your rows. rend. Yeah, so, so I've ripped damage. apart your rend one and you damage. take one damage, yeah. So I'm down to nine wounds. Um, but the other two, uh, now, because they're in choking fog here, uh, and they have now, they're now desperate because you killed one of them. They're going to try and run away. Okay. So they're going to try and get out of here. So they, they run away down the road. Um, next, it's your go, Gary. All right, I'm going to shoot the run again at him. And if he doesn't, I'm going to shoot him with a shotgun. You're going to shoot him with a shotgun. He does not run because he's an accursed, crazy chaos cultist. Right. And he would have to disengage in order to run, I'm which sounds shoot dangerous. Him with my shotgun, then. You're going to shoot me with your shotgun. Okay, so you uh, <clears throat> shoot him with your shotgun. Uh, so my test is 38. Okay, 38 to hit. I get 21. Okay, so you have hit him with your shotgun. Um, what's the shotgun's uh, armor? Uh, eight of uh, red. Damage is six. Damage six. Brilliant. So uh, that does six damage on him, and it inflicts prone, doesn't it? Yes. So what would happen is he takes six damage, and he immediately gets knocked over by the shotgun shot. Red is a thing that shotguns get, and flamers and things like that, and it hits... Um, people within arm's reach. People within immediate range... Of the target! Oh, ah, Cheers, that Gary. makes much more sense. I might have used my pistol. <laughs> so you instead. have to make a dodge test. Cheers, Gary. So you have what? to make a dodge test, Russ, to avoid being blasted, spl blasted by the shotgun. Dodge reflexes, right? Well. It's dodge reflexes, and you've got advantage because you're dodging. Uh, 50, I fail by one level. Cool, so you take half damage. What's the damage of a shotgun? Six. Six. So three damage. <sighs> they, you, and you, you are also inflicted prone. So you're both knocked Not over. My now. job. <laughs> um, and then it's your go, Bobby. Uh, you'll get advantage I'm to hit that I'm going to down. attack the, the downed beastman. Yeah, you'll have um, advantage to hit this downed beastman. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I hit him on an eight. Okay, brilliant. Which That's quite is a lot. Um, I would have success. disadvantage. I, uh, I get one level of success. So you've beaten my by four success levels. So that is, what is a chainsword? It's uh, seven again, because I've still got my frenzy strength. Bonus. Brilliant. So you're on, uh, you've done seven things. So the, the beast man is also killed. You have killed um, those two and there is a load of choke gas out there. Uh, what do you do next? We are... I mean, I can't go through the choke gas, so I guess we're... Well, you can, you just choke for a round, wouldn't you? You can only either can move, move or um, yeah. do an action, yeah. So we could move through it. We go on. Oh, no, because I've just You've done that. You've got prone as a... hit by it. But you can do an action and move, can't you? Hmm? Not Is through the it? choke gas. That's the, the choke oh, gas. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, but you're yeah. not in it yet. Surely it'll be next turn... Is, yeah, there a, is there a back door? The, 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 uh, so, the you know, the, the green guy us. went through here. Is there here. another door? So, well, yeah, so. there is a, you can go back out through the bar. But we want to follow him, surely. Yeah. Uh, Gary, of course, has a respirator. You have filter, I have plugs. filter plugs. I have neither. You have neither, but you're also the slowest. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to follow. You're going to follow, uh, okay, so you follow the, that's where we've done the combat. So mm -hmm. you follow outside, uh, yeah. um, you, don't, you can't see where the uh, green hairy mutant went, but there's some green hair snagged on the door jam. Mm -hmm. um, so you're both outside. I'm going to whistle from my dog. Okay. He's around the other side. He is around the other side, so the dog comes running around. Yeah, dogs are really useful, Ooh. it turns out. Yeah. Get him to sniff the hair and try and track it. How many more turns have we got to wait until Bobby joins us? Uh, at, like at this uh, point, one more turn. Yeah, surely Bobby anyway could just like you know yeah. hold, the hold the nose and, and run through. I yeah, would. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll take the green hair and I'll hold it up to the dog like okay, a bloodhound. Brilliant. Yeah, you're now bloodhound rat terrier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah brilliant. And basically, go seek. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Okay, uh, so the dog uh, snuffles the uh, the green hairy mutant uh, hair yep. and runs off down the alleyway. I suggest to our so yeah, to the team that we follow that. Cool. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so mm -hmm. you, you follow the dog as it capers off down the alleyways. Eventually, it reaches another manhole. It's deeper in the undercity. Well, no. it's, a, it's, a, it's a deeper in the undercity, except outside the manhole is caught on the ring of the um, manhole cover is a huge torn piece of fabric covered in blue. It's like half of a, a onesie. Uh, and it's covered oh. in green hair. So the mutant isn't really a mutant. It's, <laughs> and it, yeah, it's, it's like a onesie. It's got like a full thing. It's got like pockets and everything. It's got uh, green hair all over it. And it's like been ripped in half 
on the on the thing. Someone's trying to frame the mutants. Someone's trying to frame the mutants. Mm, does look like that, yeah. It certainly looks that way. But they were chaos, wor chaos worshippers anyway. Yeah, but they, that's not the crime they committed. I mean, but, yeah. But, we, but they no, but they were saying we don't do all that. But someone's trying to yeah. point us at them. Yeah. Yeah, but some of them aren't chaos worshippers. Some of them were very nice. They just wanted some. <laughs> They just wanted some uh, chocolate for their little mutant yeah. cloven faced babies. On the other hand, I don't know what they. I've said it by mistake, and now it's, it's a it's mutation. A yeah, yeah, we're, we're not going to question. <laughs> like having hooves, but on your head. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like that model horse horse, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's got hooves it's got coming out of its face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, right. Well, I still think we should pursue. I think you should go first. <laughs> Before that. You, you notice the there's lots of blood. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lots and lots of blood coming out of me. More coming out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, at that point, I was like, yeah. And I turned around um, to Gary, it's like, you're not doing very well with that shotgun. We got survival kits. Do they contain med packs? You, you've got a set of chirurgeons. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got a kit. Yeah. Uh, you don't take any, you haven't taken any critical wounds. No. So that means that you don't actually need to use med packs to heal, um, but you are injured. And the way this works in this game is that um, what you need to do is if you do a mid-length rest, you will heal your toughness bonus, which is the tens digits, so about usually three points of yeah. damage. And if you do a full day of rest, you'll earn double it. So you'll uh, re-heal double it. Right. Um, you only need to use like medipacks and things if you've actually suffered critical wounds, which is right. when you get down to zero. You can take three critical wounds, I think, all of you, before you um, are definitely going to die. Because um, basically I got hit by a scatter shot then, and I'm waiting for the yeah. bleeding to... And, and uh, sli slightly swiped by a beastie man. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got four points of damage. Yeah. What about you? I took a, a lot because I got shot by an auto gun. Right. It's definitely yeah. nasty. It's quite bad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't have your armour on. I didn't have my armour on because we thought it was a good idea to stealth. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm well, I still think, think it was. I'm going to nix that. No more stealthing. <laughs> no, dislike, dislike stealthing. Yeah, OK. I think it was good for that particular bit, but I'm not sure we should carry on now. Well, so we were saying before we continue on to the next bit, you should go back to the lander and get yeah. your armour. Yeah, so what you've got is, um, as rest, I said... you do that? <clears throat> so you've come out of this okay. with... Yeah. Uh, you have uh, the remains of what looks like a green mutant onesie. Yeah. We should have a look at that and investigate that. Yeah. I actually have an investigate... Um, uh, logic. So logic is how you investigate things, I believe. I, be I probably. I mean, I imagine so. If it's a onesie, we can just open the pockets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm about to learn something else from it other than just what's in it, maybe. You want to CSI it? Yeah. I mean, do you want to know what's in it anyway? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you search the pockets of the green onesie. So it looks pretty worn. Like someone's been running around in this green onesie quite a lot. Well, we know that. Um, uh, and it's sized for someone who is shorter than average. In fact, it fits... Uh, whole wonk better than it fits everybody else. Right, and there's only half of it, so I can't wear yeah, it. Yeah, so there's only half of it, yeah, 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 yeah. so you haven't got all of it. Um, there's pockets, and in the pockets, you pull out an identity card, <gasps> the, the main plot device of this campaign. <clears throat> yeah. And the identity card is for Magnus Wattingson. Magnus And it is an Swattinson. entry card for the Etta Pi Forge Complex. Hmm. Oh, that one place we haven't been yet. The one place <laughs> you didn't go at the start. <sighs> right. Bloody hell. It's yeah. like he planned it, everyone. <laughs> the, yeah. So uh, inside... It's like, it's like as if maybe he had three different plots, depending on where we went first. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, it might have made more sense if you'd We've gone there at the had, start. If we had went Any, to the other ones, we would have found... The, the, a, a clue, yeah. maybe. Mm. So we would have found an entry should, thing should, for the choir. Anyway, you don't know any of this. <laughs> Can so, I confess um, something? Okay, go for it. I've only just figured out Etapai. Etapai? Etapai. I've only just figured out Did you write down the name of the Majos in the Forge Complex? Um, Majos Mints. Was that it? Yes, it was. Magos mints, etta pie. Etta pie, magos mints, magos mints. Mints. Yeah, mints. As in, min oh, mints, yeah, etta mints pie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> mints. <laughs> I thought just mints, like breath mints or something. Mints. 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 Oh. This is what we're working on. <laughs> this well. is the level we're working on. <laughs> we, we, we're filming, right? We're on. Yeah, we're yeah. filming. Yeah, it's God. okay. Uh, so, um, so now you have um, 
Uh, some clues. Uh, what are you going to do next? All right. so you I can't think... really in an alleyway with half a onesie Let... and an identity card wounded. Shall, shall, shall we return well, I'm, I'm to hurt. somewhere safe? Return to yeah. the lander. Yeah. 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 Back upstairs. Get ourselves put back together. Right. And get a plan together. Okay, I should tell you that it's now indeterminately very close to the Sanguinala Parade. So we can't rest for very long? No. Mm. Okay. Well, should we go and have a rest enough that you and I can actually... We'll, we'll have a short rest. Yeah. I'll put my armour on so I don't get shot as much next time. I believe in that, this game, this called, that, that a short rest is called a good rest. A good rest? Yeah. Let's have a good rest. A good rest. Not a short rest. Okay. What's better than a good rest? So, so while you guys um, are like resting... It's a day off. I, I can't remember. While you guys are resting, I'll press the pilot button. <laughs> <laughs> to take us to our next uh, sort of area. Okay. Yeah, well, you are the one who shot me. I think you can do the work whilst I get a rest. I don't remember doing that, Russell. We've... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember you doing that. <laughs> I think, I, I've got a feeling that uh, Hully might remember you doing that for a very long time, in fact. So, what are you doing? Well, are we going to follow we're, we're, where... Are we going to follow the route that the green-suited person ran away along? Well, we know they go or to the Etta to where he's going. Yeah, I think that makes sense to go... Rather than traipsing through the sewers, we can fly there. Um, yeah, so we should try and do some scouting then. Because, so, frankly, we got our asses kicked last time. Mm -hmm. So, if we park up nearby and... Uh, while you two have a good rest, I'll do a little bit of skulking around and just yeah. check out the perimeter of the place and come back. Good job. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Make up for your previous failures. Don't remember it, Russell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're heading to the Etta Pi Forge Complex. So we were meant to go to the place you told us about in the middle first. Uh, the Etapai Forge complex was right at the start. But you didn't have to go there. It's okay. Yeah, but you told us about the... Confessor Coo Coo Carolus before you told us about Magos Mints. I told you about all three. Mm. But it's oh, okay. Right. You can do them in any order. Yeah. It's a very well constructed adventure. Okay. <laughs> um, your lander approaches the Forge complex of Etapai, which by ancient tradition lies just outside the city, over the magnetic north pole of Grobulac 7. Excellent. The Adeptus Mechanicus are famously protective over their domains, and as you descend through the green-tinged fog, your Vox system is challenged by automated sentry pylons. It sounds, sounds like a burst of binary, but your craft's auto-translators relay the message Imperial Gothic on screen. It reads, Ho! Ho! And most exalted ho! Who would disturb the sovereign domain of Majos Mins, father of engines, master of mechanisms, the Ayatollah of Automata? <laughs> Submit your request or be obliterated. Oh my word. Um, so I'm a part of I mean, the turning round is Navis, an option, but yeah. Well, we eat the Navis Imperialis. So this is, this is you like you've got like vaguely close. Yeah. Yeah. We've got an ID badge for Sven Sven Svensson. So we could either claim to be Sven Sven Svensson, which could spectacularly backfire, or we could just say we've come to visit Sven Sven Svensson. You've also got the ID badge from the onesie, which is yeah. a Mag Magnus Squattington. But he's going to realise that quite clearly we're not him. Ah, If okay. he's got any influence at this place whatsoever, because he might be a rogue operative or he might be someone influential at this place. Mm. So I think maybe it's better to go with Sven Sven Svensson, mm -hmm. either claiming we are or that we are visiting Sven Sven Svensson. Yeah. What do we reckon? Yeah, I think I that, think that, visiting rather visiting than claiming. Sven Svensson? Yeah. Yeah. We are here to return we are here to visit Sven Sven Svensson. We wish to return some property to him. So far we've just asked for us to identify ourselves, yeah. right? Yeah. So we should reply that yeah. we are on official business from Yeah, but we're not gonna lie, is my point. Yeah. We're just <laughs> gonna Yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna say? What are you saying to the uh, the automated drone? <clears throat> we're here on official business on behalf of the Adeptus Administratum. Yep. Uh, office of uh, minor, uh, minor office holiday supplies um, and uh, we request her mission to land. Okay, great. You, you say that. It is translated to binary mm -hmm. through your, uh, through uh, the, through PAM, the Avila <laughs> Landers yeah. automated yeah. systems. Um, uh, and the refrain comes back, uh, state the nature of your official business. 
Uh, we uh, request uh, we request uh, an audience with <coughs> Sven Sven Svensson. So a, a buzz comes up and goes. Uh, Sven Sven Svensson is logged into this Forge Complex's data records as an itinerant worker of the squats uh, working on Sanguinala festivities. Uh, why do you require to see an itinerant worker at this Forge Complex? Classified. Uh, we need to discuss that with someone in more authority then. Uh, okay. Automated system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Uh, um, so uh, there's a pause um, while uh, the request is processed, and then suddenly your craft's controls are seized by data gins, and the tiny lander immediately executes a series of harsh turns you didn't really believe it was capable of. Uh, you're deposited on a landing platform that slowly creaks its way down into the substructure of the forge complex. You emerge to the smell of spiced engine oil and the sound of hundreds of stomping feet. A long processional leads away from you, from where the scent of smiced oil and the sound of metal-shod feet emanates. Um, through the uh, either side of you, your craft has been deposited in like a landing bay with a uh, metal wire mesh to each side of you. Um, there's no one to greet you. No one's there. Um, through the wire mesh, like you can see there's lots and lots of landing bays. And at one end, there's like far away, you can see like workers processing in and, and another one far away you can see like workers processing out and they're all different sorts of shapes and things they're like there's humans and there's servitors and there's squats the servitors because of long forgotten cultural tradition all have um, a headband on with some wobbly antlers um but the uh there's there's like some squats there who look like miners or, or technicians mm -hmm. and there's some humans as well so, um, as we land, I say, well, that plan to um, scout ahead and get a feel for the locale might have just gone out the window, but we should probably at least plan our own strategy if we're going to if we're going to find ourselves in another fight. So what should we do? Well, I'm going to uh, suggest I stay at the back. That sounds like a good idea. Has anyone approached the lander yet? Or? No one's approached the lander. Um, on the doors to the bay, there is a uh, big signs up saying, beyond this point is sovereign domain of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay. So I figure you two could wait out for your long rest. Yeah. Your good rest, because I think that's important. And I'll I just... thought we were just taking a gentle... I mean, how long did it take to fly here? If we had a rest oh, like on the a, way like here? Oh, like an hour. Okay, so yeah. we would have had to have, like, not taken off hmm. and just rested, on the, um, rested before we flew, which but we didn't do, so now we need to rest here. The, the people who were visiting don't know how many is on the ship, so I could just go ahead... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...and then wait one day for you to catch up. Yeah. I'll just go and scout around and stop. Well, it. they might have scanned us, but they're not going to necessarily know why we're on the ship still. So mm -hmm. even if they've scanned us... Yeah, you're just crew. Just, we're just... Yeah, exactly. We're not important enough. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Um, is that the plan? Because you guys... But need... you need to... They're going to want to know... They're going to want us to go and speak to someone. That's the problem. I'll, I'll say, just... take me to Sven. I'll yeah. Go, I'll talk to him. Well, no, we need to... Because they've said he's just an itinerant worker. Mm. Yeah, I'll go have a chat with him. Okay. <laughs> We just have to waste one day till you're healed. I don't know if they'll take you to him. I don't think, think we're, like, I don't think we're doing a full rest. We just did a quick rest, yeah. so we don't need mm. to wait a, a full day. Mm. I think it might just be a case of... What, what could we say that would give us like half a day just sat on the platform without them getting too suspicious? We can't say we need to fix the fucking Aquila because they'll want to do it for us because they're Mechanicum. Um, they might enjoy that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they might improve Pam, though. We could get a better Aquila lander out of it. Um, but maybe we can try that one later. Um, we could just say, you know, uh, we are... Um, we could just literally some, say something approaching the truth, which is, you know, we require a period of rest and recuperation before we're able to meet with anyone and see if they'll accept That's that. That's actually a better idea, yeah. <laughs> we just try and blag it that we'll be like, look, we need a period of rest and recuperation. We want to just sit on the platform. Because like, presumably someone eventually will either radio us mm. or come and be like, what the fuck are you doing in there? Can we be like, sorry, we'll come see you later and see if they'll accept that. So are you, am I right in thinking that you're not doing anything? We could request quarters. Yeah. What he said. Okay, so you're going to... So we're going to... for them, and then we're going to try and say stuff like that. Okay, so you wait, and after about an hour, uh, a servitor... Um, dressed in a red and green rubberized suit. Yeah. Um, and wearing, as per ancient and long forgotten customer, set headband mm -hmm. and set of wobbly on it. Um, stomps down the uh, long processional to the lander. He will not cross the line right. uh, where it says it's sovereign mechanic oh, and territory. It won't be sovereign territory. Yeah. Uh, and he says, 
out of an org meter built into his face. <clears throat> ho, ho, a most exalted ho. Hold on. Ho, ho, a most exalted ho. You need help. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> State the nature of your business. Fucking Dalek. <laughs> uh, why is there such a delay? Uh, literally, we'll just say we are, we we're a part, we. It's uh, been a long journey. As uh, mere fleshy uh, weaklings, we require a period of rest and recuperation after a long and exhausting um, journey to reach this point. Okay, as we are not blessed with the um, mechanical advantages of. Are you trying, you're trying throat. to trick them with some uh, mechanical fancy talk? Yeah. Right, OK. Yeah, really and and as members of the administratum, our landing paperwork must be <laughs> repeatedly checked <laughs> <laughs> before we can submit it. <clears throat> the uh, servitor augments back. He goes, uh, you, you have three hours before your craft must evacuate. <laughs> 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 um, would that count as a good rest? Uh, that would count as a good rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would get back three. Yeah, but three. It, but three hours before your craft must evacuate. Oh, I see. Well, we don't need to have our craft with us when we evacuate. No. <laughs> I mean, like, Are you suggesting part... pressing the fly button and then leaving the craft? Possibly. <laughs> as we've uh, now established, that we're that, like, once we solve whatever problem we're here to solve, we just find some other way to get home. <laughs> okay, fine. Mm. Never know. I mean, are they saying we've only got three hours here? You have three hours before you must evacuate. Evacuate. I think we need a rest, don't we? And then mm. we just let the flyer fly off without us. Because they didn't say we have to go with it and we can get them on a technicality, basically. <laughs> 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 oh, we're going for the true spirit of role-playing the bureaucracy of the Imperium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the plan we have. <laughs> I mean, we are administratum. I'm fairly sure that they're going to regret the paperwork if they make us leave. Okay, fine. So you do nothing for three hours. Yeah. Except, shall we plan? Well, yeah, we should plan. What we're going to do. I've got an spec scanner. I could try and scout out the immediate could, area and interpret yeah. it in fine detail to work out exactly what is where. Although I know it's only a relatively short yeah, range. Yeah, it only works over a relatively short range. Yeah, It'll I think, give you I like think you'll the, discover um, we are on a landing pad. So <laughs> you can use the spec scanner. What you discover with the spec scanner is that the landing pad is like a level below the Earth. There are... Um, some automated servitors that open the blast shutters above, but there's also some service ladders that will get you back up onto the surface. Okay. It's very cold up there. Um, there's so nothing we else we up just, there. We could just send Pam off on autopilot to fly around nearby ready to come back again. Yep. That'd do, wouldn't it? We can try and, yeah, we'll just... We'll Is there just... an autopilot in an Aquila lander? There's bound to be. <laughs> can I summon a creature to sit on the Aquila and I'll get it to do a simple task, which is to take off, and then I'll use it again <laughs> later to come back. Okay, so you're going to use your call vermin ability say, to make might, a space rat pilot pan. It might be more <laughs> useful whilst, whilst, we're, whilst we're waiting to get the space rat to do some scouting for us. Mm. But yeah. we, but, I don't know if that's... But we, don't, we can't suggest that no, because no. we don't know you're a filthy psyker. <laughs> mm. All right. You also have your dog, I should probably say. Might want that, that looks with dangerous, us. though, doesn't if, it? If it's, if it sounds it's dangerous sending a canid into a mm. sending a canid into the mechanic among it unsupervised, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mike, you've got nice when it'll come back. I mean, like. it could he could also pilot Pam, um, <laughs> <laughs> but we might need him later. But maybe not. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable thing. We'll have SK Raps pilot Pam for a bit. Okay, fine. The dog, the canid, <laughs> is in a pilot Pam. Yeah. I'm going to say, give Paul and show it how to press a button. Okay, the, the button is the fly button that makes Pam fly <laughs> and then to gonna, wherever you want. And I'm going to call it later via the, the box <laughs> well, within the ship. We can pre-program the return flight. We literally I think fly to there. This fly is probably the some sort of tech test. Someone take yeah, a tech yeah. test. <laughs> Will it, so I reckon, though, that Gary could give me an assist on that because he's got a piloting background now, mm -hmm. right? I've, okay. done it. I've done it at least twice. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> presumably we won't know whether this has passed or failed until it's too late to yeah. fix it, though. Yeah, fine. So you roll the dice and tell me what you get. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> is on the critical fail. <laughs> critical fail, brilliant. So, so uh, I failed by four. So it's not an actual fumble. Yeah, it's, it's just, just I failed by a lot. You failed by a lot, brilliant. Okay, good. So, uh, and you've got advantages of Gary helping you, but that doesn't make any difference. So I failed. If Gary's helping me, I think you can only get about a plus one extra success level, right? No, it's advantage. You can swap the numbers around. Oh, in that case, I have a slight fail. Okay, brilliant. So, uh, yeah, seems fine. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, exactly the three hours. Having, having a dog <laughs> pilot Pam seems fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That, that's what your and technical that knowledge possibly, tells us. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. So this yeah, seems, seems fine. Absolutely this seems fine. Like a great idea. Um, <laughs> the the doors open and wonkily the shuttle miraculously takes what? off and disappears. So during the three hours, though, what did you do for three hours? For three hours, two of us were resting. You can have been. Uh, so that means you get your toughness bonuses yeah, so in I've wounds back. Yep. And um, I'm just going to wait on the platform. I don't see. Yeah. Try and chat to the servitor. Strike up a bit of conversation. Yeah. Notoriously I... chatty. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> so you have a little chat with the servitor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask him. Uh, Badros. I can and ask. I can ask him the, the layout of the describe the layout of the facility for me. Okay, he says uh, the facility is a standard mechanicum layout. Uh, it consists of numerous chambers uh, in which mechanical things are assembled. The secrets of the Omnisire are not mine to divulge. I am a servitor. Uh, you must uh, investigate. Investigate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Investigate. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so the land is gone, mm. and your three points of damage is healed. Yeah, well, I've got one left. I've still taken one point of damage, so I'm almost healed. Well, are you, you going to follow up the, the well, large plan, corridor available to you? Yeah. Presumably we can chat during our um, convalescence. Yeah. So I think that our plan should be that if we get in a fight, I shoot first because I'm quick like that, Gary holds back, or Gary shoots while you're not in the line of mm -hmm. fire, and then after we've shot, you charge stuff. Um, Preferably, sounds... if necessary, <laughs> flaming as you go. I, I can definitely... I love that this is more tactical planning you've done it, all, all game, game so far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this sounds like a, a prudent I mean, course. Which one of us seems like a seasoned veteran? I mean, Th that really? one. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> um, warrior, yes, but actual soldier? I don't get that vibe. I get the vibe of so... a fighter, not a thinker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. First, think later. Yeah. Slaughtering the, the more helpless forms of heretic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm definitely, I mean, this is without a doubt the first time uh, Hully has ever been in anything resembling a fight. Okay, so apart from the last two times. Well, no, but... Yeah, okay, yeah, right, yeah, yeah fine. Yeah, yeah. This is his worst day. It's been a day big day. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the worst day of Hully's life by a huge margin and regrets very much ever having anything to do with Ricardo Magentus. Okay, but, brilliant. If, if anything starts going wrong, we set fire to the entire room <laughs> and leave. And run. Okay. Right, okay. That's okay. fair. Good, so we've done some strategic okay. planning then. <laughs> well, we've tried to. <laughs> um, good. Uh, so, uh, I assume then you are walking down the long processional in front of you. Yeah. Yes. Not like climbing out into the snow above or anything no. like that. Right, okay, so you walk down the long processional. Eventually, it emerges into a vaulted room dominated by the sounds of machinery at work. Um, uh, the, uh, around the circumference, Twin rows of red and green clad servitors walk in circles for no apparent reason. One circle walking one way, one circle walking the other way. Uh, while in the centre, teams of servitors man workbenches, assembling tiny toys that they deposit into bins at the end of each bench. There are nine workbenches. <gasps> Uh, the bins, they, they deposit, when they've assembled the toys, it's like an uh, 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 assembly line. The last servitor throws it into a big bin, like a big bin to hold, like a hopper, uh, and those hoppers are overflowing. Um, uh, out around the room, there are numerous doors going to, like, Manufactory 1 through Manufactory 9. I suddenly had a thought. <clears throat> um, I would like to do a law check because I'm worried about something. Okay. Because I've got a potential plan, but I'm not sure it's going to work. 
Um, for a start, if I wanted to call a, a tithe inspection team, yeah. I'd need to do it now. But would a tithe inspection team under the Treaty of Mars actually have authority to enter the Forge World Adeptus Mechanicus um, domains? Uh, well, we'd have to find that out. Right. Would I know that anyway? Um, uh, let me... Yeah, yeah, why don't you do a law check to find out yeah. if that is something... If that's something you'd know, um, I got twenty-three, which is um, well within your well law, within, isn't it? Yeah. depending that's on as well whether it counts as one of my specialisations. But yeah, well within my law, um, it, it would be potentially uh, the uh, as as they're producing something for the administratum. It would be it within. would be within their um, legal remit. But as we know in the Imperium. Uh, that is really a case of real politic and the actual physical power on site. So uh, they would they'd probably get into an argument, but they could, you know, uh, turn up and start demanding things. So I'm going to whisper to these two, is it worth just getting them on the way here now so that once the shit hits the fan, they might arrive whilst we are here in the shit? Or at least provide some form of distraction yeah, whilst we because we're... they're going to take, presumably, the same amount longer than we did to get here because they'll need to assemble mm. a strike team. You'd be surprised. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So what, what would be our best estimate of the time for the um, tithe inspection team to arrive here? Well, as we know, it's very difficult to estimate any sort of time in the Imperium. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, but I'd say it was a matter of, like, Minutes to hours. So minutes to hours. Yes. Yeah. Like the administratum are very hot on that sort of thing. So maybe we hold off for a little while, and once we have a clue what's going on, we get them here. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, would I be able to do that? Am I linked in to a Vox relay that I'd be able to Vox speed to someone to get them on the way? I believe. Or would one we need to hack something to send the signal out? Uh, you, uh, well, you have sent your spaceship home. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Um, what Vox equipment do any of you have? Because I know we're missing one person who definitely had a Vox relay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I have a Vox bead and an Orspex. I've got a loud hailer if they're within a hundred meters. <laughs> <laughs> so my my assumption uh, so was I'm we we still had communication the to the lander to tell SK Raps to press the button to come back. I don't think he will understand instructions on how to operate it. It's no. Vox relay. <laughs> That um, might be asking too I much. I would assume I'm going to need to hack in somewhere to do that, aren't I? Uh, yeah, potentially. Yeah, I might need to try and hack the Mechanicum. You're going to hack the Mechanicum? Uh, <laughs> okay. I think that might be uh, difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that one's going to be that straightforward. But it's an option that if we're anywhere near a data terminal... We could and we're possibly shit, trick them into giving us access. We might yeah, be the better way. It might way. also not be that hard to just get an open frequency... I mean, I'm not trying to hack all, their central net. All the servitors in this room are busy working and are monotasks, and they're all just ignoring Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. We could request access to their Vox, because the, yeah, we, yeah, we are... Exactly. Well, yeah, that too. Yeah. Anyway, we don't need to do that yet. Hmm. Well, can I inspect the tiny, tiny Primarchs to make sure they are all wholly sanctioned Primarchs and uh, there's not any... Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you certainly can. So you go over to the Primarchs, and there is one of each of the Primarchs uh, in each of the bins, like, as in each mm. bin contains one yeah, sort of Primark. Yeah, lots of one, lots um, of the same one. Yeah, yeah. lots of the same one. Um, and, and they all look pretty uh, authentic. Okay. Yeah, they all look pretty... It's pretty is easy the, to tell. They're all... Yeah. Is the shade of red on the Jagatai ones the correct shade of red for Jagatai Khan um, likenesses? Uh, yes, yeah, as far as you can okay. tell, yeah, okay. it is. Or at least because you wouldn't want to have flesh terrors red instead of blood angels red for the, yeah, for no. the, for the <laughs> zigzags. No, this is obviously um, uh, what, what, fast yeah. red. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it seems like there's more than they're supposed to be producing. There's, there's a lot more. Overflowing. They're overflowing. Oh, wow. So yeah, they're yeah, way yeah. overproducing. Way overproducing, yes. Yeah. So no one's collecting them. <laughs> this seems inefficient. This does seem inefficient. Um, yeah, we should. So this servitor's leading us somewhere, though. To the servitor's someone, right? gone. You, you're oh, just so now just, walking around. Oh, yeah. so we're just allowed you're to just be here. Wandering for a while. around. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, everyone seems to have forgotten about you. <laughs> okay, because they didn't realise we left with, uh, not left. They thought we'd gone with our shuttle. Well, mm. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I well, don't know what wandering. they think. Then let's keep wandering <laughs> around some more and see what we find. 
Seems like the obvious. Okay, place. there are there are in traditional role playing game style. There are four exits from this room. I've just decided. Okay. Uh, one <laughs> has a sleigh pictogram on it. One has a sort of mechanicus cog on it. One has a um, a uh, manipulator claw on it, and one has a um, uh, set of tracks on it because they're very. Clear about their manipulate their, their pictograms and the adepts of mechanicus. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think we should go down the one with the cog on it because that's likely to be the one where they are the most brain powered, rather than just like doing deliveries and ma more manufacture or stuff. And there might be someone <laughs> worth talking to. Brilliant. As you go down the corridor, it's it's panelled with like metal grills, um, and it eventually emerges into a room which is like a huge control center. There are lots of control banks everywhere mm -hmm. with levers on them and a load of screens glitchy data screens that are the worst actual camera glitchy glitchy cameras you've seen so far on your journey um <clears throat> and uh servitors are manning those screens and in the middle stands a tall figure in a red robe with um a large protuberance of machinery under his robe in his uh, abdominal section <coughs> um uh and he turns around to you and he goes ah ho 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 I am Major Mint. Who disturbs my Forge Temple? <laughs> and why has it taken you so long to get here? Um, we are from <laughs> the Adeptus Ministor Ministratum. A Ministratum, yes. eh? We have noticed irregularities in your tithe. Oh, clever. There are no irregularities in the tithe. Our tithe, as the Mechanicus, is to produce 40 bazillion Primarchs. <laughs> and we are producing all 40 bazillion Primarchs. As well as sundry other sanguinala processional items. Yep. <laughs> what is the nature of this emergency? Why do you question the sovereign domain of the Mechanicus? Well, you, they're piling up too much because uh, you haven't actually um, ensured the delivery mechanisms. This is no concern of the Adeptus Mechanicus. We well, will supply 40 bazillion Primarchs. I'm referring to Treaty of Mars, subsection 14, paragraph 28. Oh. Section IIB. Are you going to try and law master <laughs> the, the, the Mechanicus? You have joint responsibility, and where there is a failing on behalf of... Da, 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 the, 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 note, the, the notion is um, that you would provide alternative... Da, 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 something, something, something. Roll some bloody dice. <laughs> Difficult. Five. <laughs> Success. Zero, zero, five. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally rolled when I needed to. This is what happens when you ask players to roll dice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Accepted. It is our responsibility to make sure that we only produce as many things. However, the chocolate production is not within the sovereign domain of the Metallicus, and therefore we cannot be expected to be, maintain stocks of chocolate. Uh, we will merely provide the same number of fry marks we are allowed to provide. We are very, very busy. There's very many other the Sanguinala things we need to make. It is the Sanguinala Parade tomorrow. We will not accept any more expressions at this time. Hmm. Do you not feel any uh, level of responsibility? Under... Feelings are for those made of flesh. <laughs> <sighs> Nevertheless, logic dictates <coughs> as a partner in this enterprise, it is a joint responsibility to help us solve the problems of the uh, further parts of the delivery chain so that it does not reflect badly upon you as a, you know, a, a, a mechanicus um, facility. Uh, there are strong indications that someone on site may be responsible for damage to other parts of the supply chain. Well, that's going to really piss him off that, isn't it? Yeah, heresy, heresy, this is tech heresy. None of the Adeptus Mechanicum servitor thralls under my command have been in any way involved in any sab sabotage of the supply chain. Ah, but are they are the only people on the site here? No, I've installed a large labor force of itinerant workers. For example, some of your kind are in my employ. Perhaps it was one of them rather than one of the servitors. You would have chosen your own kind. Many of my kind are necromundant squats, as I can detect you are from your speech patterns. Ah, but perhaps uh, perhaps some of them are secretly from uh, external uh, League of Votan um, sources. Surely this, this is impossible. 
Oh. There are no, there are no filthy Zados here. Only Necromundan squats. Oh yeah. So I'm going to show. I, I can, I, if you wish, I can show you picked feeds of destruction of both the resources you have um, manufactured and of servitors which were probably manufactured. Um, by this one of the um, mechanic and base. Okay, there's some like beeps and boops. Yeah. He goes like beep, boop, beep, boop. And he's sort of, you, your electronics all get a bit warm. Yeah. And then he goes, yes, I can see, I can see this is definitely holy destruction of the Mechanicum. It's a sacrilege. Uh, it's nothing to do with me, but it's sacrilege. Right. <laughs> and we would be. It uh, seems clear from this that a small green mutant has done it. Have you looked in the Undercity? <laughs> We saw, uh, we pursued him from the Undercity and he fled in this direction. And we found evidence of his, um, in, in, what's the word, um, involvement uh, in the form of uh, this, where is it? This ID card. badge. Ah. Which is the Magnus Squattington ID badge. Magnus, <laughs> Magnus Squattington, a well-known old Necromundan squat name I am given to believe. I do believe it is as well. <laughs> Nevertheless, it may have been a fake name, or it may be that he is under some malign influence. Ah, heresy. There is no such malign influence in my forge. Uh, however, Magnus Squattington is present. He did not check in today. Uh, he was uh, assigned to the Sanguinolalimus sleigh team, along ah. with Sven Sven Svensson, who I believe also you have the card of. I can tell because I scanned you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we would uh, very much appreciate an opportunity to investigate the uh, belongings of Magnus Squattington and potentially Ma um, who was he? Sven Sven Svensson well okay since you've convinced me through your logic <laughs> I will aid in this uh, but it nothing to do with the Mechanicum and definitely only uh, Magnus Squattington is to blame he will be immediately rendered down into a servitor as soon as we find him Excellent. That would be a suitable um, punishment. Good. Brilliant. Excellent. So um, can we get a look at Squattington's stuff if he has like somewhere he stores it? Yeah, totally. So um, the Majos is, uh, you, is, is convinced by your extreme logical claim <laughs> that, uh, and your roll of five out of a hundred um, <laughs> <laughs> to help you. Um, okay. and, uh, and he assigns a servitor to, who is um, uh, by custom, ancient custom, uh, wearing a headband with some little wobbly antlers on it. We do need to get ourselves some of them because if we're um, not wearing some of them, it might actually make things a lot easier for uh, us. And, yeah. <laughs> and he leads you to a locker room um, uh, and in the locker, it's like a Mechanicum locker room. All the lockers are like gothic arched. And, um, <laughs> and there's oil leaking all over the floor. And uh, in the locker room, it's the, the servitor goes like, uh, here, they're all, they all, all have the same voice because they don't need to have different voices, Mechanicum. Uh, the servitor goes, uh, here is the locker room you may investigate. And can you point us towards the uh, towards specific locker room? That, uh, Magnus, Magnus Squattington. Yeah, Sven Sven Svensson? And Sven Sven Svensson is next okay. to it. Yeah. So, um, convenient. Yeah. Convenient. Handy. Very. Right. Oh, and also somewhat suspicious. Ah. Maybe they were in cahoots and they were both <clears throat> at Rattlings. Maybe yeah, their names are above the Sven lockers. Sven Sven Svensson must have been at the, um, what was your name, Thingy Rattling? At oh, uh, Roger the Rattling. Roger, Rattling. Roger, Roger Rattlingson. Rattling. Yeah. Roger Rattlingson, um, in order to have his card taken, must have been there. Mm. So perhaps they're all in on it together. I, 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 I sniff a conspiracy. Anyway, can we... Um, so lo, one of the... I haven't got the actual specialisation, but logic, one of the things you can do with logic is investigation. Okay. Um, investigate. Investigate. <laughs> investigate. <laughs> can we investigate the lockers initially of Magnus Squanton and Sven Sven Svensson? The servitor opens both lockers for you okay. and allows you to investigate the effects of Magnus Squattington and Sven Sven Svensson. Okay, so um, shall I roll a dice for that or should we just investigate? No, you can see what they are. They're there. Yeah, you don't need to test to see what they are. So no, I just, yeah, I was wondering if it was like anything we could glean from Yeah, so within them is, um, is some changes of clothing. Yeah. Um, into like work overalls. Um, there's a. Uh... So hang on, the, the actual non work clothing is what's in there. So they're yeah, yeah. So they're, in their they're in their work clothing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Magnus Svensson is because he's, yeah, yeah. he's, yeah. he's not turned up for work today. Um, so Magnus Svensson's work clothing. Magnus Squattington's work, just some yeah. spare clothes are in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Sven Svensson's civilian clothes are in there. 
Um, they're both a, a size to fit a squat. Mm -hmm. um, uh, inside are also some basic data slates, but, but the data slates are of a sort of technology you haven't seen before. <gasps> yeah, they're like Imperial technology, but just like weirdly more advanced. I was right. Yeah. Oh, they're all shiny and clean rather than dirty and old, and they've not got any skulls on at all. Like, no, that's the biggest, really like, they've got data slates, and the data slates don't have any skulls on at all. Now, bearing in mind, my brain and me a little while ago did go to Leagues of Votan. Can I have a look at these and decide if I think they are likely... I mean, they look like non-Imperial tech. Yeah. Um, but do they look like possibly something related to ancient Imperial tech? Um, yeah, I would say yes, they oh, do. They have the same roots yeah. for the technology, even yeah. if they no longer... Yeah, I think you should do a, um, a tech test with an advantage because you are a squad. You're not going to believe this. What have you got? Uh, well, I got either 20 or 2. Okay, so that's both very good. <laughs> you can tell immediately that this data slate is of an ancient Leagues of Votan yeah. pattern. It's wow. even got one of those little glow up, like glowy little heads on it. Head yeah, little things. glowy skull yeah, yeah, dwarf yeah. head things. Dwarf yeah, head. yeah wow. that's what it starts up with. And it says, Leagues of Votan data slate version 12. <laughs> Only version 12? <laughs> yeah. I was hoping for a, an I-15 version. Yeah, and it contains like a saga. When you read it, it's like a saga in Votanese. Can I quickly, um, before these things get taken away from me, can I download everything from these onto my own data uh, slates? It's not compatible. Damn. Yeah, sorry. How many data slates are there? There's, there's one in, uh, in one. Magnus uh, Squattington's so uh, I can't pocket. Squirrel, yeah, I can't squirrel one of them away for my own purposes and hope it doesn't get taken off me later and just deny it. Oh, there was only three. And mm. a no, never mind. Right, nevertheless, um, can I at least operate it? Uh, you can operate it, but you can't read it. Right, because it's in Votanese. It's in Votanese, yeah. Okay. Which is the language the use of Votan speak. So, um, <laughs> haven't read the book. Would I be able to? <laughs> so, using a combination of linguistics and data delva. Yeah. My even if I can't decipher exactly what it says, decipher the general topic. Yeah, I guess you are a squat, so like it, there's a chance have, that you're. It'd yeah. be like reading old English because like the squats, the leagues of Votan separated from humanity like twenty something thousand years ago. Yeah, well, the squats, but the squats were, from Necromunda yeah. over moved over ten like, thousand, 10, 000 years, 000 ago. years yeah, ago. Yeah, that's no time Only at all. Only ten thousand years. Ago. Yeah, so it's just like reading ancient Babylonian. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. Um, you know, technology and everything has stood still for 10,000 years in the right. game as well. Um, yeah, you can do a difficult, so that's um, minus 20 yeah. linguistics check. Um, that is, uh, no, that's, that's a, a fail by one. Yeah, you unfortunately you that much don't out. know what it says. Yeah. I'm still but it seems and clear it. that somewhere in the forge are some Votan yeah. who have been pretending to be... Can we... Mutants. Net command and squats, and also mutants. Can we search <laughs> some other lockers, or will the server to try and stop us? Uh, you can ask. Yeah, so I say to the server, to look, we've uncovered evidence here. Now we need to check how widespread it is, whether it's just these two or if there's more. We need to search the rest of these lockers. Okay, you can get your, you get your ore specs out, yeah. and keyed to the Votan's thing, you find that all the lockers in that room contain some element of Votan tech. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Can I grab some of it? No, it's all inside safe? the lockers. The servers won't let you in. Oh, damn yeah. it. Okay. Well, later on, we'll come back. Yeah, I think now I'm going to say to the servitor, we need to um, contact our superiors for guidance. Um, it would not be logical for us to continue at this point, and so we need to seek guidance. Can you please... Um, Show us to a Vox relay. Okay, yeah. So the servitor goes. Uh, he, there's some beeping and booping happens. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes, yes, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, a Vox relay will be provided, and um, <clears throat> uh, and shows you to a what looks like an old uh, talky telephone on the wall. <laughs> yeah, made out of pipes and tubes. Okay. Yeah. Um, can I hook into it? Yeah. And shall I just shall I just call? Are it you going to use your duty um, boon tithe inspection? Yeah. Well, presumably he would be the one who'd have to call the tithe in for us. We wouldn't have that much on that. No, yeah, yeah, you would, would transmit. We'd and, yeah. say to Ricardo, look, we need a tithe inspection team here. We don't actually need them to do a tithe inspection. What we need to do is get them here, and then we can show the Arbites who come with them or whoever. They can then call the Arbites if they don't bring any Arbites with them to be like, fuck me, there's, squat there's, there's, there's um, Lisa Votan here. I'm going to, um, every time I notice um, Theophania looking at me, 
I'm going to mutter under my breath about the um, heinous evils of leagues of Votan. Um, <laughs> just to reinforce the notion that I'm not one of them. Okay, brilliant. You can just dress in their clothes. Yeah. Operate their technology. Can I? Um, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I will also. Yeah. Just in case it comes in useful later, take the um, squat outfits from Sven and Magnus's okay. um, lockers. Screw all the way in my slings, which I believe would probably count as plus one more encumbrance. Yeah. But it's not. Uh, so I'm. I'm still not fully encumbered, but I'm. You know, getting there. Okay. Um, but I think they might turn out useful later if I need to get through somewhere unnoticed, perhaps. Okay, brilliant. So you uh, phone the uh, Vox operator and you put through your <laughs> request um, to, you know, uh, nine administratum um, and uh, <clears throat> put through your request to uh, to have a tithe inspection, mm. which is confirmed, big green light rune, rune okay. uh, lights up. And just as you put your phone down, you hear this like klaxon go off, which is like, meh, meh, meh. Uh, 14 minutes until Sanguinala Slay launch. Oh, crap. Okay. And we're estimating more than 14 minutes for the Tide Inspection team to arrive? Who knows? Long way okay. up into the uh, space. We probably need <coughs> to delay the Slay launch, and there was a door with a Slay above it. And right, we need to get there rapido. Is yeah. the servitor going to let us, or do we need to deal with it? No, you can just... Yeah. We're going to leg it. Right, so you leg, you leg it back the way you came. Yeah. You go back up the corridors, you go back to the main thing, and you go into the corridor with the sleigh yeah, above it. Yeah, I reckon. Um, right, brilliant. So you're going to go down the corridor with the sleigh above it. I think we have to. <clears throat> so it leads past a long, this long series of to, gantries. I'm going to be all specs as okay. I go. Okay, so you're in front. Uh, well, no, because I don't need to be in front for the auspex to work, do I? Uh, no, that's a fair point. You don't need to yeah. be in front for the auspex to work. Who's in front? You go down the corridor, so you're using your auspex in the corridor. What you can see is six figures inside, uh, humanoid, and then a large object about the size of a ground car, and then like nine things in front of it, like large life forms in front of it, um, uh, sort of lined up. Um, that's what you can see as you're going down the thing. Uh, what's the plan? So we we know that that's, that must be the squat. That must be the 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 vote the vote hands in there. Right. Okay. Um, and that has got nine things in front of it. Um, I, I'm guessing my auspex can't tell whether they've got antlers. Uh, no, your auspex <laughs> cannot tell whether they've got antlers or not. No. Uh, um, but, but I think we can they're, assume they're that's living the living creatures. Yeah, there's, there's nine living creatures. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, right, and we are we need to get to that sleigh to stop it. So, I'm in my squat costume. gear that I just got from Magnus or Sven, yeah, which yeah. are the uniform. I'm in my uniform. Right. Okay. So I think I've got a better chance of getting somewhere in that room mm. if I'm not with you two. I think that's quite likely, yeah. Um, okay. So we wait outside, you go in as far as you can, trying not to raise suspicions. And okay. we'll draw the attention... Back to us, so that you can carry yeah. out inside the room. And... Um... Okay. So what are we gonna... So what are we expecting in this... Right, so, yeah. I think we need a signal... Uh, attack if we need to, or something like that. Is that you just going to be? We just scream. We do have Vox speed. speed. We can yeah, just, yeah, yeah. We can yeah, just yeah. scream. We can just murder talk, the Xenos. scream, murder the yeah, Xenos yeah, scum. Yeah, yeah. And, and I will still be emphasizing that, of course, they are Xenos scum, but so. please remember that I am not. <laughs> right. I will attempt not to kill you whilst killing the rest of the things that look exactly like you. Okay, but remember, I'm an abhuman, not no, Xenos, Xenos scan. Ah, okay. So we, right. okay. we have a model for him in costume as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of, we do, yeah. Um, okay. So, um, also, uh, bear in mind, you've got Vox Beads on, mm -hmm. and you have an indeterminate amount of minutes until your um, backup ties So I'd better get in there arrive. anyway. Mm. Yes. So we right. just need to stop, the, stop them escaping. Tie and, team is on the way. And probably about 10 minutes by this point until the actual uh, sleigh is, decide, is, is, is going to leave. Because you've been right. walking around oh, the yeah, yeah. corridor since you were in Well, the, let's uh, get in there. I'm, I'm heading in, <laughs> and right. I'm just walking in all confident-like. OK, and the other two? We're going to stay outside the room, and we're going to wait till he's about halfway through, and okay. then we'll come in. OK, fine. So you walk into the room then. Yeah. Uh, what you see is this. You uh, walk in, 
and you see, here we are, uh, a number of squats all around uh, doing maintenance work on a, um, a, a large sleigh. It's like very gaudy and covered in gold. It's got a giant robot sanguineous in the front of it. It's over here, if anyone's wondering. Um, and it's got a giant automated robot sanguineous in it, like a bad marionette who's like waving to the... To the to so it's not actually a robot that's gonna move around and do stuff. No, it's, it's just, just like a, a fake... Like a, a model. Right, yeah. a model, yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and attached to the front of it, uh, nine uh, of, of the famous, uh, certainly famous on this planet, sanguineous is famous nine chelons, which are big uh, shelled, um, like, cow animals. Um, shelled cow like animals? shelled animals mm. that uh, people use for farming. OK. Um, and the nine chelons uh, are attached to the front. Chelons can't fly, but they've had, like, bionic rocket boosters attached to them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and there are squats welding... Um, uh, their, oh, their, their heads and their bodies are very armoured. So they're welding um, uh, small headbands with antlers onto the Chelon's heads. Of course um, they are. Uh, while people like, you know, fix sled, sleigh, sl sleigh tracks and runners and, uh, and, you know, generally busy themselves around. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to be all waiting for the signal to go. Uh, they're all dressed in the same, same suit as you were dressed in. So mm -hmm. you uh, enter and you walk through. Um, so I guess the first thing you're gonna try and do is pretend that you're one of them. Yeah, I'm going to just walk around and I'm going to try and stride to somewhere purposefully in order to start doing a task so that they don't pick me out. Okay, brilliant. So um, you are in, <laughs> in costumes. We'll mm -hmm. say you've got advantage. Okay. And you are a squat, so this is a pretty good disguise. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so we're going to do make it routine and you're going to do a, a disguise would be, um, I'm going to say your presence or rapport. I think it's presence because you're trying to tough it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. to style it out, style out, if, I it out here. if you belong here. Okay. Yeah. So presence check. So 29. 29, but you're going to get plus 20 because it's a routine because you do look like a squat. And a so that is 28. 28. So you, I'm just, in. you just about managed to walk through the crowd and no one looks twice. They're all <laughs> okay. like, oh, yeah, it's a squat. Some of them like nod. Um, uh, and you walk, what, what are you going to do? I'm, uh, uh, well, are they, they're mostly working on the chelons working, and everything. Yeah, they're all working on the chelons. They're working on the sleigh. They're working at various bits around the room. There's some bits that still need to be affixed. But yes, it's like quite like, which is weird actually, because it's quite close to launch. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll walk over. Well, maybe it's a bit last minute. You know, it's a bit like okay. James Bond last minute movie yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, there's always some mooks doing. Um, so I, th I think I'd better walk over to what the rest of them are doing. Yep. And what are they doing? They're trying. They're, you said they're assembling stuff. Yeah, they're, they're attaching things to the sleigh. They're checking the sled runners. Decorations. Checking the. Can I sort of just the get there and try and you know nod as if I clearly belong and right. just be like, um, <laughs> right, I'm gonna. What, what what do you want me working on? Right, so you're going to go up to here and you're going to go, oh, so one of them turns to you and goes, oh, yes, uh, Mr. Well, I don't know your name, but obviously my name is uh, 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 Ragnar Squattington and I will be, uh, I think you should probably be checking the, the, the boosters on the chelons to make sure it all flies very okay. well and very far. You Ragnar know? Squattington, you must be Magnus' cousin uh, I know or Magnus brother. Magnus Squattington, yes, we're definitely... Squattington, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, yes, you should. I am not a Squattington, but oh. I am a Squatberg. No, a Squatberg. Yes, oh, yeah. I am. So, so you should. I'm Hans a... Squatberg. Hans Squatberg. Yes. Yeah, good. Okay. So, why? I don't know how we've become German, but okay. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, I was. I was trying to. Yeah, I, I was trying to be Scandinavian, and okay, uh, well, I was trying to be Watto. Well, yeah, I think okay. I was trying to be Watto from Star Wars, okay, actually. Yeah, no, but that's very. Where the hell is he from? <laughs> anyway, point is, uh, he asks you to push okay. the boosters to the Chelons so that the Chelons can fly far enough for the purpose to which they are intended. Now, I'm going to work on the assumption I don't want that to happen. Because... <laughs> um, yeah, we're trying to stop this. We're launch. trying to stop them, and we're, these are clearly aware. not squats. They are Votans. Yeah. We, we, as we have sort of noticed you've reached yeah. the, the, the sleigh, we're going to enter into the chamber, mm -hmm. very loudly on the loud hailer, announce, this is the Adeptus... Administratum, this is a worker inspection. Please have all of your papers <laughs> and equipment available for inspection. <laughs> this is the administratum. Oh no! So, um, so all of them look a bit panicked. Uh, they all come out of the, uh, the down their tools, all except for you, Russ. Yeah. Uh, they all down their tools and they all come and line up. And, and the, a boss stomps out and goes, uh, <clears throat> kind of walks up to you and is like, uh, "There we are." The boss comes out of his office and he walks up to you. And he goes, uh, what, what, what is the meaning of this? Uh, I am Squat Shift Supervisor Carl. Uh, we are 10 minutes from launch. We're going to do an inspection now. 
Yes, it has been defined by the emperor. This is the tithe inspection. And this has all been confirmed with Magos Mints. Magos, Magos Mints are available. So what we should do is we should uh, see if Thirsty, if you convince him. The other squats are looking around. One of them shares a meaningful glance with uh, squat shift manager Carl. Uh, and squat shift manager Carl's like, <laughs> and I'm doing nothing, don't do nothing. Okay. And uh, so let's see, you're going to try and convince him. So again, we're going to do this as a present. Present? Oh dear. <laughs> Got it. I rolled a 17, so that, a 17. Does, that does actually pass with just, just okay. one. Okay, so <laughs> one little bit. Work. Yeah, all of them stop work, and Carl <laughs> stomps back off into his office to check with Major Smith. He's like, yeah, okay, I'm, uh, okay, I'm going to go and check with Major Smith. Everyone else just, uh, it's very late minute for an, in, uh, an inspection, but I'm going to go and check with Major Smith, yeah. And um, he walks back into his, they're all, I don't know why they're all German now, but fine. <laughs> uh, they all walk back into his, um, into his uh, office. Um, right, so great, all the other squats are like standing around not knowing what to do. All right. I'm going to stand over by the Chelons and, and sabotage the jetpacks. Okay. On, and I, I'm on one side. Can I only reach one side yeah, you know, of the Chelons? Line, so I can't... For some reason, you can't get around the other side. They must have done those ones earlier. Okay. So, uh, so you can reach one half of the Chelons. Like can four... I try and do some tech to sabotage some of the yeah, jetpacks? Yeah, totally. Go for it. And we'll give you... Uh, what you should do is do a stealth check, but have advantage because everyone's now looking at okay. you. Okay. So stealth first. Yeah. So the stealth is two. Two, brilliant. So you're definitely mm -hmm. doing this stealthily, Lily, Lily, Lily. Stealthily, Lily. Lily. And then see if I can sabotage the shit out of the jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> and that is 35, which is 20 under my 55. Hey, so you've done something to the jetpacks. So wherever this thing's going to go, yeah. It's going to go there in circles. Brilliant. Great. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay great. So you, while you're doing that, the squats are sort of like now looking a bit shifty. It's getting a bit tense in the room. They're evidently aware that they're, um, they're meant to be launching the sleigh. Some mm -hmm. of them sort of uh, sidle back over. You're not telling them to do anything. Some of them sort of sidle back over while their <coughs> boss is in the uh, thing and start working on the sleigh again. I think La oh, I'll carry on on the loud hailer. Line up for inspection, line up for inspection. This is the administratum. Have your papers ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, well, the boss is away, so I guess they line up for inspection then. So the, uh, the squats all line up for an inspection. Let's get that out there. The squats all line up, all apart from um, uh, you, Russ. So they're all facing away from me. Yeah, they're all now facing... Uh, in, they're in the main cargo bay here, and they're all now facing the gang. Um, so this would be a good time for me to jump in the sleigh. Okay, cool, brilliant. So I'm going to do that. We'll do another stealth check. Okay. Time you get, you get, we we routine Advantage again? 20 and, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that is 36. Yeah, so fine. So now you've got Under my stealth of 40. Excellent. So you've gone into the sleigh, and you're now in the sleigh. <laughs> nosing um, around. Have a nosing around. So when you get into the sleigh, this is what you see. You've got the back of the giant sanguin sang sanguinius. Yep. Uh, and uh, in front of him is a... Um, a flight control panel, which, as we know uh, a, from this, is just a big button that says fly on it. Okay. That's how no Imperial tech works. Fair enough. Um, and, uh, and then behind is a, um, a selection of big sacks containing presents. But there aren't that many presents, and from one of the sacks emanates a very familiar blue glow. Oh. Mm. Now, this blue glow, does it remind me of the explosion it's earlier? It's extremely similar to that explosion yeah. earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Except yeah, yeah. Uh, dangerouser. Dangerous, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Kind of regretting sabotaging all the jetpacks now. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it is, it is important the, um, that it doesn't the, take off. The, so. the fun, right, true. Uh, the, the squat I'm going to call uh, backup flunky goes back into the room to check on um, on Carl Carl. A Carl Carl, yeah. On Carl. Carl, sorry, Carl. Squat, Carl Carl? Squat shift manager Carl. Yarl Carl? Yarl, no, Carl. Yarl, squat shift manager Carl. <laughs> so I think we it's should... Just Carl. We should go forward and we should start checking our PPE, like let's inspect our boots. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> so you're going to walk up to them? Yeah. Into, into this room? Yeah. Yeah? You're into the same zone as them. Uh, and you're going to ask to inspect their boots, right, while yeah. Carl's away trying to speak, check with Major Mints. <laughs> okay, brilliant, all right. <clears throat> so this time... Uh, you're going to need to do a presence check. I'll give you plus 10 because they're only mooks now. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to need to do a presence check <laughs> to... Um, in, in I, I think... Who's yeah. doing this and who's I, doing I, I, My presence isn't very good, is it? 36. Mm, it's actually better than mine, but... Okay. 
<clears throat> well, you can just, you, you can, can do the intimidating, you can reinforce the message by pumping your shotgun or yeah, something. Yeah, so I'll do that. And I think you use your loud inhaler because I think that should give you at least one level. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, to put out that yeah. message, yeah. Does the loud inhaler give us a <clears throat> bonus on that? Uh, it's just, just, just being very just loud. Being very loud. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's loud enough to hear 100 metres away and I'm <laughs> next to them, so... I wouldn't argue with you in that situation, though. <laughs> cool. All right, so you're going to try and do another presence check to get them to now remove their shoes. Yeah, remove their shoes. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's go for... <laughs> well, we're, uh, we're fine. <laughs> let's have a look at them. 21, so that's... 21. Um, Okay, all pass, right. Yeah. Um, they're not they're not completely off that. You can sense the tension is rising in the other room. And you can hear some like arguments in what you assume to be squattish, though you cut don't speak squattish, yeah. um, coming from the office. Well, uh, we're we're just buying time really, aren't we? So uh... <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm gonna try to um Right, so there's the, 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 I'm going to try and disengage the, the controls. I'm going to try and turn off the fly button, I guess. Yeah. So okay. have I, what, what equipment did I have for the sabotage in the uh, jetpack, like a uh, welder or something? Cutter, Las cutter. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and last cut the shit out of the flight control so this thing can't fly anywhere. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, uh, I will say that's a tech test. A tech test. Okay, I need yeah, to know where to, where to do it. Yeah. Right, okay. Let's see, how does that do? Uh, that's a 15. So you've uh, you potentially sabotaged the flight controls. So now uh, the sleigh can't go anywhere. Now it can't, the sleigh with the bomb in it can't go anywhere. Well, it certainly can't be launched from the sleigh. No. Yeah. No, but it, it's just <laughs> there is still a bomb. There is still, still a bomb. A bomb. Hmm. Now we are now stuck with the bomb. Yeah, you're now in a room with a bomb. So we can't get rid of. You can't get rid of. Do you want to well, do something about the bomb? About seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably try and do something about the bomb. Till, yeah. Till I mean, th this is a one shot though, so. <laughs> Bomb's not maybe that big a deal. I mean, obviously, if so, we could either try to escape <laughs> because now we know that it's going to go off. I'm, I'm going to jump in the back. They I can reckon. try and fix it. They can try and fix it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, we need to. We need to kill them if we're going to run, and we're not going to have time to kill them and run. And, and if we run and there's damage to this facility, we're going to get the blame. Yeah. So the other yeah, we thing need to... is disabling the bomb. Yeah. So you need to keep the squats busy while I. I'm going to clamber in the back then. Yeah. And have a look at this bomb. Okay, brilliant. So there they are currently taking their shoes off, um, and uh, suddenly you hear uh, you hear Major uh, um, Shift Leader Carl and his mate both come out of the uh, office, and are like, "Oh, Major, the Major Smith, you are lying. Major Smith says there is no inspection. What are you doing here? We have we have a we have a Sangonala uh, sleigh to launch imminently in only six minutes. It will go any second." I will just go over and press the fly button now. And he starts to make his way over <laughs> to uh, do the pre flight Don't leave him in here. Yeah, so he's, um, he's, uh, he's I'll, walking I'll over. In, do, it's, do, 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 I'll put my body in. Oh, I'll, no, I'll okay. get in between. Right, OK. <laughs> you doubt our authority in matters of bureaucracy? <laughs> Just, he goes, I don't know anything about your imperial bureaucracy. I am a squat engineer and I have, I have to make the, the plane fly. Now get out of my way. So I think we should point out that the boots were substandard and see what his response <laughs> are. Your work is a shoddily dressed, <laughs> non-regulation tools. Uh, if the boots are shoddy, how do we know the work isn't shoddy? Yeah, so this... That this would fire a box speed, obviously. Okay. This, this sleigh may be... Unfit to launch. Uh, he's, he's like, what are you talking about? Our focus, as you know, the squats of the Imperium are very good at building things. Uh, we are great at this. Uh, we will now uh, go and launch the sleigh. Get out of my way. And it's going to be tension now. Like, you're going to, yeah, is he, is he going to fall for it or not? So I want you to okay. do a, a willpower roll off. Oh, well, a willpower roll off. Oh, no. A willpower roll off <laughs> to see who, uh, who wins here. I fail by one. Okay, I fail by um, three. Okay. Yeah, so um, I think that means weirdly, um, he, what does he do? You fail by one, he fails by three. It's like a standoff. So he, it's like a standoff, mm. and it, neither, neither of you is going to move. Which is what we want. That's what, <laughs> what we want. So I'm going to start, I'm, I want to have a look at this bomb. Okay, so that gives you, I'll say that that gives you one more go. Okay. okay. Have a look at the bomb before something else happens. Okay. Yeah. Can I? I don't want to try and do anything with it as such yet. I just want to investigate it and try and figure it out. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything that's going to make it explode. 
I'm right. just going to try and learn about it. I'm going to be like, right, uh, where's the controls? Where can I see any leads going? Can I see inside? Can yeah, I do okay. anything? All right. Yeah. So an invest like an investigation. Modern yeah. Investigation. So a tech investigation. <laughs> so okay. yeah. Cool. Let's see what I yeah. Let's see what you get. That is 39, which so is well under my tech, okay. but I don't know how complicated this piece of equipment is. It's, it, well, it's, it's obviously non-imperial technology. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so what is your tech? So my tech is 55. This wouldn't be security, would it? Unless I'm, no. yeah, because, yeah. But let's say, yeah. you, let's say you're, uh, you're now studying it. You've, you've got, you, you, you're understanding Getting an idea, yeah, you're okay. You're not um, an expert yet, but you're Yeah, a okay. Bit. Right, so um, what Carl does is, uh, now he, he's decided that he can't get through uh, there's a bit of an uneasy standoff between departments, and he doesn't obviously want to kick off. He uh, motions to one of the squats who goes to, to go into the sleigh and check on it. So Ooh. one of the slots starts to turn around, and the squat starts to turn around. So and he I'm going to say, where are you sleigh. going? Stop. And the, the squat stops. He's unsure what to do, and Carl's like, no, you, you go. <laughs> we are not finished with our inspection, and I guess I'm challenging him to stop. Okay, right, so, so what are you just telling him to stop? I've also cocked my shotgun. Oh, right, okay. You're, you're, you're yeah. cocking your shotgun, pointing it at him, and telling, telling him, him to stop. stop. Yeah. So, right. uh, so the minute you cock your shotgun, so I'm going to do a um, resolve check or some sort of willpower check mm -hmm. for the uh, squats to see what they do. Mm -hmm. The minute you go for your shotgun, the squats... Uh, the squat that you're pointing the shotgun at freezes, but the rest of the squats run for cover. Uh, and and Carl, Carl goes, put that down, and goes to <laughs> lunge at you and actually force it, force you, goes to basically attack you and push the shotgun down. So the rest of the squats are going to run off this way, uh, obviously going to these uh, whack racks of tools on the wall. Uh, <laughs> Would we be going to initiative order at this and, point? And Carl <laughs> lunges for you to try and grab the shotgun and put it down. It's not lost yet, but he's going to do it. So uh, I'm going to assume that Carl goes first, because you weren't expecting that. Mm. Um, and he goes and lunges for you. What is your immediate reaction, Gary? Uh, dodge. Dodge, I'm right. Dodge. Okay, brilliant. So he'll do a, uh, let me get here, a um, melee check. Okay, brilliant. Your go. Uh, so I'm on dexterity, is it? You're on dexterity. Or is it... Um, I think dodges can be either uh, dexterity oh, or melee, I think. No, do, melee is if you're trying mm. to fight back. So okay. you're doing it on dexterity. What's on, reflexes? Uh, on, uh, reflexes, yeah. Reflexes is 49. Cool. I've uh, got a 66, that's a bad failure. Cool, all right, so you fail, and he grabs the shotgun and pushes you down, and right. sort of knocks, it's, it's, knocks it's a the fumble. shotgun out of your hands. Is it a fumble? Did yeah. you get a fumble? Yeah. All right, so you trip over and end up prone on the deck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again. You're, uh, you fumbled it. <laughs> so you ended up uh, falling over, and Carl's bump bumped you over, which is obviously a very aggressive move. So we're now going to go to initiative mm -hmm. order and mm. see who's uh, down. So superiority. You've checked out the area. Yeah. But you do not have the element of surprise. They haven't got any shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the two at the back do. Right. The, She's the fenster. She's the <laughs> fenster. They haven't got... <laughs> right. Okay, the squats haven't got any shoes on, apart from the two leaders, Carl mm -hmm. and his mate. Uh, the other ones have run, but obviously they've run very slowly to the side wall to try and get some weapons. Um, it, is it diamond hash... Um... On the floor, is it yeah, going to hurt it's, their it's feet a lot? Great. Yeah, so it's not oh, good. They're excellent. Be disadvantage to moving, I think. They're quite, <laughs> they're quite slow to start with. Yeah. Spots. Um, but they're going to be disadvantage to moving. So, um, uh, obviously, also squats are uh, initiative quite low. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from you, obviously, your initiative eight. Weirdly, yeah, mainly he's, mainly he's based on my perception four. rather than anything else. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to initiative order. I'm going to say that you currently have because you were in the yeah. situation in your. I'm going to say you've got two superiority. Okay. He has made the first move, but you have checked out the situation and you have some sort of plan. And we've seen like their uniforms and yeah. their equipment. So we're going to start with yeah. priority. So, so we're aware we'll of their fraud, goes. but they, they're not aware of ours. They still possibly <laughs> believe that we are we, who we say we are. We yeah. only presented ourselves as me members of the Adeptus Mis uh, Administratum, so which, is, <sighs> which is what we... What well, we are. You are. Yeah. We weren't lying no. much. No. So I'm still in the back of the sleigh, <laughs> and I'm going to guess that these squats might have forgotten about me a little bit, hopefully. Well, with any luck, 
but you can choose what you're going to do when it's uh, your time to act in this yeah. combat we're now going to do. Woo! So here we are. Right, so <clears throat> Gary is on the floor. I'm going to say that all the squats have an initiative of four because um, there's no rules for that and they're all um, slow squats. Brilliant. There you are. And they've all got no shoes on, which will yeah. make it harder for them to move. Um, so uh, let's go to initiative order. Who has the greatest initiative? You do. Right, so Russ, what would you like to do first? <laughs> right, so I, I want them to not spot me. So I don't actually want to take part in the combat itself. Mm -hmm. I just want to use this opportunity to keep inspecting the bomb. Okay, so you're just going to keep looking How, how many bomb. minutes are there now on the bomb? I we think there are, there are now, on the bomb, you can't tell how many minutes there are. Oh, does it not the, say? On, no, but on the flight, there are three minutes before launch. At three? This point. Yeah, three minutes before launch. Oof. I think uh, so. Uh, the side is enough for a number of rounds of combat. So did we work out how many rounds of combat there are per We've minute? not figured out how many rounds of combat there are per minute. If I had a chrono right now, I would be worried. Yeah, well, I think one of you does have a chrono. But, um, yeah. yeah. The time is counting down, so let's keep going. Well, I, I think I want to... I, I don't think I understand this yet, so I think I want to keep on trying yeah, to check out this bomb. For another minute. Mm. And I, I leave myself two minutes to try and... Okay. Before it starts flying, because once it let's starts trying to fly, test, I'm not going to be able to keep trying to disarm it anymore. Tech test. So, here we go. This feels important. 55, right, okay, here we go. That is... One! 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 <laughs> one. one! Brilliant. Right. Now, I, I think you know you see exactly everything in that bomb. Yes, so suddenly, yeah. how, suddenly, suddenly crystal most clear. Suddenly, delicate job, all how to disarm it, your knowledge of the bomb and how it works becomes is clear. Pretty so you damn now know good. how it works. Obviously, it's going to be a very tense time to try and disarm Will that give me advantage Will to give disarm the bomb? Advantage to disarm the bomb. But you're not going to do that right now because you're still reading okay, it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm still reading so, about it. For, I think that's going to be at least three. Order. We are Would that prone. be about three rounds so of combat, you reckon? So you're, I can, you're prone, so you'd have to get up as your move. Okay, so I'm going to stand. Okay, so you're going to stand up. And Brilliant. Sven's got my shotgun, right? Uh, he's knocked it. No, no he's just he's, he's knocked, knocked it over my down. hands. So you're, you're still holding the shotgun, but it's... Um, but there is a lot you, of them. You didn't get to shoot that guy. And everyone in there is armed with tools, right? These, these guys are all armed with tools. This guy's got a big pickaxe. Where's our zones? So who's in which zone? Um, I'm going to say that the zones are... Um, the so that you know the uh, the sleigh is a zone, the loading bay is a zone, and the corridors are a zone, right. and the office is a zone. I think I'm going to throw a choke grenade into zone two. Okay, brilliant. You're going to throw, throw a choke grenade. And I'm into going the to corridors. aim it to the back side of it so that any. Minor failures will be just closer. Okay, I, I should say that, they, that all these guys have a pair of shoddy filtration plugs on because they are like PPE, you know? They'll have to, so that means they get a test. They get, they get like a plus, plus 10 to their fortitude test. <laughs> okay, it's yeah. still worth doing, I think. Okay, cool. All right. Or should I just use mine? Have I got mine in then? Presumably I'd have seen them wearing theirs, so I'd have worn mine with yeah, my gear on. You, yeah, you yeah, put yeah. yours on as well because, yeah, you would have. Not that I'm anywhere near it. Uh, well, I've said I'm doing it, so I'm doing that. Okay, right, yeah. fine then. Uh, okay, so uh, first you roll for target, but obviously yeah, I'm not going to be that accurate about it because um, yeah. it's... I'm just it's throwing it on the floor in front area. of me, yeah. yeah. Okay, go for it. 44. 44. Um, um, and you've got, so got two points of um, superiority at the moment. Yeah, so it's so, a test yeah, 33, so that's a pass. That's a pass, great. So the grenade goes in there and goes off. Everyone in there has to take a fortitude test, but they do get plus 10 because of um, that. Uh, they're obviously quite tough. The toughest is 45, so here we go. The leader, um, yeah, no, right. So the leader is uh, stunned. Uh, minor stunned, and then the other squat is 88. Oh my yeah. god. So both oh, that's a these bad squats fumble. have started to be there. They've have been affected by the choke gas. <laughs> but that's a fumble. 88. It is an 88 I, fumble. I, I so think... he's now going to choke himself to, into <coughs> having some damage done to him. I'm going to put face down, mm. and I want to take off some damage from him. So he's going to go down from like uh, 12 wounds down to, down to six wounds. Yeah. Because he's actually got hurt by his choking. <laughs> that makes sense. It's a good fumble, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there's probably a table for actually you probably... should do on a fumble, but I'm just making it up because that's more fun, right? Oh, there's a fumble ta table. Great, I'm going to roll on the fumble table. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's, it's only a fumble table if you fumble doing the uh, attack. Right? Uh, okay, mm -hmm. that is quite fun, though. I'll use that later. Um, oh, sorry, so that's a critical <laughs> He probably fell and hurt himself. Yeah, he probably so fell and hurt himself. Okay. That's, I think, fair, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so brilliant. Okay, so that's your <laughs> move. Then it's up to you, Bobby. It is indeed. Did you say that the the squats and the racking is a separate zone, or is that the same zone? Well, it's all the same zone, yeah. Okay, I won't set that whole zone on fire then. Uh, I will <laughs> just you're standing in. I will just shoot at the squats with my hand flamer. 
OK, you're going to shoot at the squats with the hand flamer. Yes. Oh, yeah, because they're all standing next to each other, aren't mm, they? They're yeah. all, all over <laughs> by <laughs> the racking. <laughs> These squats, you're going to try and shoot at the, the squats with the hand flamer. I am indeed. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, so let's say you shoot at the middle squat with your hand flamer. Uh, but roll to hit. And you said we've got two... You've got two superiorities so far. So I need... Under a 50, the so... It's quite, pretty high, though. They're going to be resolving quite high. Mm. 78, so that's... Okay, so you've missed with Missed your hand with flamer. my hand flamer and... And that's that. So you've you missed with <coughs> your hand flamer. Ah. No one is ablaze. Does it have spread? It does have spread, so but I think that's only if you actually miss it. it yeah, you have to... You have to, to actually hit But would the two it. guys not also have to dodge out of the way? Uh, of I the think area. the rules it's, for spread are no. You have it's to, only if you hit uh, the main you, target. If you, if you do damage to someone, then... Um, Okay. I've, I've managed to shoot it. Over their head. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All creatures within immediate range of the target, other than the attacker, must take a challenging dodge test or suffer half damage. Yeah. Or half. But if you miss... I, I've done zero but damage. Would you, would you mean so, it's like, yeah, do you, but, but where did you miss? That's the, the point. But if you miss with area. a hand flamer... Yeah. Where did you hit? Do you, like, in a lot of games, you don't even miss with a hand flamer. Yeah, it's no, just this, where do you this is, to hit with yeah, a hand flamer. Yeah, wow, okay. But you're still going to hit the area, so would everything still count as being... No, that's a different thing. You can to dodge? choose to target the area. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to say that you just fucked up. That's fine. Very far. Okay, right. Brilliant. Uh, and then they will uh, go back on the attack. So um, Squat here turns round and comes into melee with you. Uh, mm -hmm. And actually, he's going to chase into the... Um, uh, no, he's, he's, he's forgotten how to use this. He's going to go into melee with you. So first okay. squat goes into melee with you. I will fight him back with my chainsaw. Okay, so this squat's going to attack you. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he, he didn't do well. Um, with the two additional things, that's yeah. three successes. Okay, and I got six minuses. So how much damage does the chainsaw do? Uh, I'm not frenzied, so just six. Just six. <laughs> so that squat is, is seriously hurt. Brilliant. Okay, great. Uh, and then the do, next do squat will come off. Part you. of the body you hit. Oh yeah, it's a uh, body. So body. Yeah, uh, they've got they've got um, a little bit of protective void suit armor on. So that'll be. But you've got Ren. Ren you, in two. Yeah. So his. We'll assume his void suit armor is now gone. Torn to bits. Um, next. The next squat. Then <laughs> the, the rest of the squats all rush you. So this squat comes at you with a spanner. <laughs> Can I just keep reacting with fighting? I, I believe you can keep reacting with using your melee score, yeah. Okay. Uh, 66. So he fails as well. I rolled a two, which is it's like extremely good. Eight levels yeah, of success. So you're doing very, very well at this combat, and we're pretty sure we know how to run. Um, uh, and so you've done how many? Uh, eight. Eight. So that's actually because it isn't your damage something plus success level. Um, no, it's, it's just three plus my strength bonus. Right, okay, fair enough. So how much damage? Six. Six, two and area it, does, two. Like, it rends his armour away mm -hmm. as well. So he's, he's also hurt, so you've hurt this guy. Um, <laughs> the next guy will rush uh, Gary with another oh, massive spanner. So this guy's going to rush Gary, uh, melee or dodge Gary? Uh, I'm going to melee with my knife. Okay, he uh, gets one success level. I... Uh, Bad, 93. 93, <laughs> lots less success levels, brilliant. Yeah. So he's going to get one success uh, level, so a knife does his strength, which is three, so he'll do four damage to you. Yeah, so I'm failed He's using a spanner, six. not a knife. A spanner, he's using a spanner. Does he get plus one strength for that? Uh, less <laughs> I shouldn't be trying to get Gary hurt, should I? Mean, <laughs> good, good point, it's not a knife, it's a spanner. Does he count as a club or something? It's probably a club, isn't it? Let's, should we count it as a club? It's a... Hammer. Let's use yeah. call it a hammer. Right. It's two plus strength bonus. Brilliant. Okay. So he hits you with this hammer, um, and uh, you take two damage plus the strength bonus of three. So you take five damage. Right. Cool. Minus, Minus armor. Uh, yeah, but your armor. Uh, good point. The armor is on zero, so it's body. Uh, body. So my void suit so minus is two. So you take three points of damage. Right. So uh, we helped you after all. <laughs> there we are, good. Um, and then this guy will... Uh, he's going to try and rush uh, Theophania again. I'm assuming oh. he's going to get some sort of advantage now because he's... Um, I'm being ganged up being on. being ganged up on, yeah. 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 Um, cool. Uh, yeah, that's... Okay, good. Yeah, fine. 
rolled a six. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> uh, you still beat him. Okay. Yeah, that's because he didn't do that. Um, yeah, so um, how, he also takes six damage and mm. loses his armor. So you're swinging your chainsword <laughs> around in a great big wide arc as they try and get at you with their spanners. However, the spanner guy gets Gary. He's doing quite well. Um, and then what happens is the uh, leader gets up. He can either move or he can... Um, he can uh, he can because he's in choking. He can either move or attack. So what I'm going to do is let him crawl into his office. Okay. Yeah. So he's out of the choking smoke. Uh, <laughs> and this guy I'm going to say is down because he he actually took damage. Um, right. Okay. So uh, end of round. Mm -hmm. uh, we're now going to go back to the start. I assume it's Russ. And yeah. You are now going to. Well, it depends how because this is like maybe 10, 20 seconds of action just then. Yeah. So am I still in the process of figuring out this bomb, no, no, or can, can I now do try and disarm? Thing. Yeah. I want to try and disarm the bomb then. Try and disarm the bomb. All right. You have advantage, but it is difficult. I mean, plus twenty because sorry, minus twenty because. Um, uh, it's a Votan bomb. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, but you do have a right. advantage now. So I've got to get 35, yeah. but I have got advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Yeah. Five. Five. Okay. You disarm the bomb. Woohoo! Oh. I'm done. I'm going to tell the other two over the Vox. I've disarmed it. You've disarmed it. Right, okay. At least the, I think the, I have. The, 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 everything stops bleeping and the glow goes down. It is impossible not to notice this. Okay. So the now are now scrabbling around and wondering what's happening. Um, okay, so uh, next person to go will be uh, Gary. Uh, I'm going to announce to them that the game is up and they can quit if they want to leave up their lives. Huh? I'm going to tell them that the bomb's been dismantled, that the jig is up. Yeah. And that if they want, they can leave with their lives. They can, they can flee. I'm, I'm giving them the option to flee. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Presence? Or are they... Is that all you're doing on your turn? <laughs> uh, well, that's what I'm starting with, I guess. Okay, uh, if cool. I'm allowed to do two things. Yeah, well, that's just saying stuff doesn't count. Right. <coughs> uh, and I'm going to pick up my gun and, and cock it. You've still got your gun. You never No, you, you told me that I dropped my shotgun. No, he just knocked you down. All right, so... Um, I'm going to take aim with my shotgun. You're going to take aim with your shotgun. Can to you, reinforce you're going to get my... You disadvantage if you try and shoot a shotgun that close to someone. Because um... it's a long gun. So if you're this close to someone, if you're in engagement range, <laughs> you're going to get disadvantage if you try and use your shotgun. If I shoot it at him? Uh, if you shoot it. You're, you're, you're in, you're, ah. You've got someone trying to attack you with a hammer. Okay, well, I'll move away from him. Okay, so you do you want to use your action to disengage? To disengage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. So you use Reinforcing the idea that they should disengage. Flee. Which way are you going to disengage? Uh, towards the office. Towards the office. Okay, so you're going to go over here, in the same zone. Yeah. Cool. Is that automatic, or does he have to roll for it? No. If you if you use your action to disengage, then the guy doesn't make a reaction. Okay. You can move away. Um, but then they get to. Yeah, you attack can move you, away, I but see. they get to do a reaction attack on you. Cool. No. <clears throat> no. No. It, if you use your action to safely disengage, yeah. then you, you can just disengage. Okay. If you just moved away and then fired your gun, then as you move away, he'd get to attack you. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So is, is there a response to my statement? No, that's it. Uh, there's no response to your statement so far. They don't roll like a willpower to see if they take my advice? Or... They're, they're not doing anything so far, but it's not their turn yet. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, Bobby, it's your go. Quite counter to what <laughs> Gary has <laughs> just done. Um, I'm going to see if I can frenzy. Okay. Ooh. No, 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 no. Don't, don't pass my willpower. So, so. The, the, what's happened is you, you, you were considering doing some frenzying, but obviously now the bomb is actually destroyed and you've just got a load of barefoot, hammer-wielding squats attacking you who are angry about this. <laughs> um, you, you, yeah, you just can't summon up the courage anymore. Okay. So they're all very bad at attacking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel quite bad for them. Um, no. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. So it should still be... Thea Fania will still be bellowing, Death to the Xenos! As she's going to hack at whichever of the squats looks... The least pathetic. Okay, all right. <laughs> all of these squats have um, uh, that you are in base contact with mm -hmm. have been wounded by your chainsaw and have cuts in their armor. Um, but the uh, but the um, uh, this one over here is fine. Okay, whichever. He's, he's, you'd have to move out in to get him. I, I will tag as they're all just one of the squats. The squat in the middle. The squat in the middle. You're just going to attack the squat in the middle. Yeah. Right, okay, go for it. A 40, oh. which is 
four successes. Oh, God, he's going to try and um, dodge, because he's going to try and get away. Uh, 55 on an agility of 35 means she that this knows. squat does not dodge and can't get away. So uh, you get four successes. Mm. Great. How many points is that? That's still another six damage. And he has no armor. So you have chopped this guy up. He falls apart <laughs> and is, is, is deaded. Mm. Um, <clears throat> right, okay. The squats then attack. Um, the first thing that happens is that this squat tries to attack you in melee. Okay. <clears throat> with his hammer. Uh, actually, you know what? He's going to try and... <clears throat> He's going to try and shove you and pin you down. Okay. Yeah. Can I still just do a regular melee as Strength a counter thing, no. for that? You can either try and dodge or shove back. I'll try and dodge that You're one. You're going to try and dodge case. the shove. Okay, yeah. so he's going to do an athletics check, uh, which he... Uh, fails out by two, uh, oh so God. he's not very good okay, at uh, I, attacking you. I did pass mine by... You, by you dodged out by the way, one. so he tried to shove <laughs> you and then dodged out of the way. Okay. And while you're doing that, his other mate is going to try and safely disengage and go for the... Um, uh, is going to safely disengage okay. with his action and go for the... Um, and move towards the next zone, and he enters the, um, the sleigh. Yeah! Right, there's a squat in the sleigh with you because he's trying to... You're going to yeah, try yeah, and fix yeah, yeah. the um, <clears throat> The squat down here uh, finally crawls his way out of the choking cloud because he was very, very badly affected. Um, <clears throat> and now, suddenly, this squat bursts out into the main area <clears throat> with a auto pistol and starts opening fire on anyone there. And he's yelling like, we will still, we will still take this worthless planet, you stupid humans. Soon your, your, your inquisition will bomb the entire planet because of this, uh, the Sanguinara Slay you have sabotaged and it does not work. Ha 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 ha. We will still win. And then he opens fire uh, on, um, on you, Gary. Uh, he's he's a bit crazy. He's obviously you, you went and stood directly outside the door, um, so he is now going to have a bit of a disadvantage. But um, but he's going to shoot you with his auto pistol, and he's going to shoot it on burst, uh, which doesn't make any difference because no one's standing next to him actually. So maybe you won't do that. Yeah. Um, uh, Sixty, he misses though. He's not very good at shooting, um, uh, and so he misses you. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Um, now. Uh, do you want to in any way communicate before we do the next round of combat? Um, I want to just ask a question about the squat who's come to the sleigh. Yeah. So is he... Am I going to be able to shoot him without disadvantage? Because he's so close that no, I can't he's, he's shoot only, him. He's like coming in the door at the moment. Right, okay. So I'm just going to get ready to okay. shoot him in a sec. That's fine. Okay, yeah, fine. Cool. Okay, brilliant. So um, the bomb's now defused. Uh, the sleigh is ready to go. You've just got a load of squats you need to get there um, to defeat in, in time to stay alive. Um, so... Do we uh, have feedback on the backup we've called as well? Uh, do you want to check on the backup? Yeah, can we use uh, our Vox? Oh, we don't have a Vox relay, do uh, we? You don't have a Vox relay available, unfortunately. Are they mm. close enough that our Vox speeds, they can pick up our Vox speeds yet? Because uh, then we'll they, know if they're close they, at you least. You can't hear anything on the Vox speeds, <laughs> okay. though. No. Okay. okay, brilliant. So... Next round of combat starts. I'm just busy chopping things apart. It is uh, your turn first. I'm going to shoot him with my last pistol. Okay, brilliant. So we assume that he's being shot with a last pistol, this manufacturer and squat labourer. Yeah. Tries to get in and attack you. He's like flailing at you. He's like, oh, I'm going to so get, I have... I'm gonna get your stupid uh, Imperial squat. <laughs> I am a superior Votan Kinfolk squat. I will hurt you. I'm a better squat than you. Yeah, who's the better? You have a squat. <laughs> Squats off. Right. Now, my weapon has burst and close. Okay. So, I don't know what either... So, yeah, close well, presumably well, means I can... Last pistol? Yeah. Yeah, so if you do burst, uh, you fire off... Um, burst gives you... Hold on, let's check that. Yeah, so if you do a burst... Then you get plus one skill level on your attack, but you reduce your ammo by one. So you That's goes. fine. I'm going to go like blasting, blasty, blasty. You're going to blast him. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Now we so still have plus super, two. Super, yeah, the plus yeah. two. Right. Okay. I'm going to blast him with my last pistol. Okay, cool. And I rolled 33. Yep. Which is a not a pass for me, but I have the two from superiority. Cool. Now he's now whereabouts in the body if you hit him. Uh, I rolled, a, yeah, three. Um, so, um, so you've hit him. Uh, he is uh, wounded again. Uh, how many points is a last pistol? Uh, five. And what was five. burst? So uh, burst. 
Yeah, he is actually um, killed. Hey! You've killed, you've killed the squat because he was previously been chopped up by a chainsaw. I got so one! The, the squat <laughs> trying to get into the, uh, into the uh, cabin has been shot by Sally, so that's two down. They've got mm. a resolve of three. Mm -hmm. um, uh, now, uh, your go, uh, Gary. I will Again, use... you've ended up, unfortunately, in engagement range of a squat. Yes, I am going to use my knife and okay, try and stab, stab him on okay. the side. Yeah. He'll, he's a bit too big, he's the leader, so he's going to melee away. And I got a success, nine. Uh, you got a success, nine. I also got, got two, a success. Two levels of success. You got two, oh, I only got one level of success, so you do... And Gary's got superiority as well. Uh, yeah, good point. Um, so you do actually attack me with a knife. Mm -hmm. um, how many how many points of the damage? Zero plus strength, so... Uh, That's three. Uh, what's my strength? Strength bonus. Uh, so I think it'll be... Yeah, it'll be strength three. divided by three. Uh, strength divided by ten. So it's yes, three. three. Okay, three. So, um, so that will be... Uh, so unfortunately, it's only th strength... It's just three, and he's got two armor, and he hasn't been rendered yet. So uh, he's going to take that and one take one damage. Yeah. Um, and he doesn't attack you back. Uh, so then it's uh, Bobby's go. I will... I, I'm not going to try and frenzy again, I think. I, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a limit, but I think once per combat is... Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. You could be really angry now. Uh, <laughs> you are now winning more than you were to start with. Yeah. I'm just going to keep, keep chopping away at squats. Okay, I'm going to cool. go for the next one and see if I can... Uh, Did I forget to attack you with hammers last time? No, I shoved you. That was you it. shoved yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, that's a fifty, which is with the um, superiority is three successes, and the squat does not get uh, as as good as that. So again, you finally chop down the third squat. They're now getting a bit desperate. Right. Remind me what uh, that means. Is it disadvantage? It means they might they might do stupid things. Okay. Or they might try and get away. Be, be more like reckless. That. Yeah, they'll be a bit more reckless now. Um, so it, we we are at the point where the squats will take their turn. So um, uh, the um, the leader hefts his power pick and attacks uh, his massive pick and he attacks uh, Gary with it. Uh, Here we go. I will, I will dodge. Uh, he scores. Um, yeah, he's. Um, uh, he's got one success level. Uh, I've got five zeros. My Zero reflex five. is, is no, 49, so that's a fail by one level. So you fail. So but he's got superiority. You. He has got superiority. And we still, we've still got superiority, yeah? You it do, feels yeah, like yeah. we should. Yeah. 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 Right, um, so I, I pass by one level. Let me check that, because uh, superiority... It's until we start taking wounds, and I don't think any, any of us have taken in any wounds. Uh, I've Gary has. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we might have lost one level. <laughs> it's actually. only critical wounds. Oh. Um, oh, okay. That's all right then. We've still. Yeah. Oh no, no. So you, you can you, you can only use it to do one test of your choice each turn. Okay. Yeah. So you don't get it on everything. Oh, okay. okay. That yeah, makes yeah. sense. So you get it like you can you on what which is usually yeah, yeah, yeah. right. You've been using it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so he hits you with his uh, bloody great hammer, yeah. um, which is um, five damage. Oops. Does that do minus two with my minus armor? two for your armor again? Yep. I'm down to seven. Cool. What? So you're down to seven. So you've been wounded again. Uh, brilliant. Um, and then uh, the other squats. The last one here will draw back, um, and he will. He pulls an auto pistol out of his pocket and opens fire um, on uh, Theophania. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, so. Uh, he's going to hit you, he's going to do a burst, so he gets plus one uh, level. Uh, but this squat's going to shoot you, and he does... Uh, no, he, he does, it rolls a 91. <laughs> uh, these squats are really bad at attacking people, mm. and completely his bullets all go wide and he completely misses. Right. I mean, you did what, just watch me cut down two of his he's friends. Just, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably he's doing more desperate things mm. there, yeah. And then this squat here, I think, is going to attempt to run away. Uh, so this squat here, now he's... Now he's Chase him down! He's going to run away this way. We need to chase him down. Squat here, yeah. So now he's going to be desperate. He's going to try and run away that way because now the squats are desperate because you've killed three of them. Um, okay, but the leader's not going to be there. He's still chanting about how he's going to ruin Sanguinada for everyone. Um, uh, and uh, you start to hear in your Vox speed the sounds of an impending administratum uh, quill-based task force armed <laughs> with lots and lots of important paperwork. <laughs> um, and, uh, and and next so next round starts and it's uh, your go first. Yeah. 
So who's alive? Uh, the boss is alive and one squat is alive. Okay. Um, but the boss is looking more dangerous, but is he yeah. right next to Gary? Am I at risk? Yeah. If I yeah. shoot him, am I likely to accidentally hit Gary? Uh, well, maybe if you miss really badly. Okay, I'm just going to shoot that one because he looks like he's going to hurt Gary more, okay. Gar Ray more than the other one's going to hurt Theophania. Okay. So you can I... Come out the... Uh, I'm going to lean yes. out and try and stay in a little bit of cover. And then shoot the boss. Now again, my magnum... I'm assuming mag is magazine or something. It's four. Yes, yes. So, so is it like three. you lose you one that. to shoot? Yeah. No, no. And another one for doing the blast No, so you don't lose any just normal shots. Oh, okay. You lose it when you do the burst. I'm going to do another burst at this boss then. Okay. I will use my superiority for this shot. Mm -hmm. So I rolled 67, which is quite clearly, that's three failures. Yep. But then I've got superiority that brings it down to one. Yep. And the burst brings it down to zero. zero. Yes, yeah, so you do actually so I just, hit him. But zero, I'm still like, even with that, I'm still on 37 instead of 31. Oh, so does that mean miss. I miss? I miss, miss. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So I miss, but not in a minus anything anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so sorry, I tried. Yep. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not a fighter. <clears throat> um, so you missed him, great. So then it's uh, Gary's go. And you're still, unfortunately, Gary, you are still stuck mm. next oh, to this right. uh, squat boss who's trying to attack you with his massive pick. Right. I have a pistol, auto pistol, so I'm gonna fire that at him. Okay, brilliant, go for it. Um, I can fire rapid three. Okay, that means, so with rapid fire, that means that you will... Um, it's spread, or I can increase the damage by three. You, you increase the skill level to hit by three, or is it damage by three? Yeah. So it's a choosing to rapid fire, again spread, or add three to damage. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And reduce the weapons magazine by three. Which is the whole magazine bullets. for an auto pistol, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you're going to add three to the damage. If I hit, yeah. Well, okay, yes. fine, so let's try and hit him. Do, 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 uh, on 33, and I get 16. 16? Yeah. So you hit him and do how much damage? Uh, five plus three is eight. Minus uh, the two of his armor, but that still means six, and he's already suffered um, a one. number of... Well, he's only suffered one, hasn't he? Hmm. Okay, brilliant. So he's, he's still going, but now he looks really angry and he's injured. Also, what was your <laughs> units? Uh, oh. It was 16, so... Uh, six. six, okay, so still body, everything's still hitting the body. Um, so yeah, the, the, he's, he's um, yeah, he's uh, angry. Mm. Um, and then uh, it's the Athenians go. It is. I'm gonna ignore the squat that just managed to empty his auto pistol into the ceiling. Yeah, the idiot squat, <laughs> can't shoot straight. Yeah. And instead charge at the, um, the boss. Uh, and gang up. I'm gonna gang up on the boss, Brilliant. who's profaning the sacred... Sanguinala. <laughs> sacred... Uh, sa Sanguinala. How dare you threaten Sanguinala? Yeah, he, is, he is actually the one threatening the um, Sanguinala the most, yeah. Can I use my faithful bonus for this one? Because... because specifically because he is, is yelling it? stuff about uh, Sanguinala. Sanguinala. What's the rules for faithful? So, once per game... Yep. Uh, I can add my willpower bonus in skill levels, in success levels, for a single test relating to faith, which can be purging... Purging some heretics. Purging heretics. Yeah. Some Xenos, um, sort of. My willpower is three, so that's three success levels, and this is going to be my... Your one you're using superiority My for. superiority, so I've got five already. Yep. So I've rolled the dice. <laughs> okay, brilliant. And, he's gonna and then I rolled a one. <laughs> So I have I'm 11 right. success levels. So you've got 11 success levels. Yes. I have failed by two. Okay. So you do how much damage? <clears throat> it's still only six. Okay. But this is to his head. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, so um, he's that not on his head. Hmm. So uh, that will take his wounds. What we're going to do is we're going to do a critical damage on his head to see what happens, <laughs> I think that's quite funny. Um, <clears throat> so uh, he's lost his last wounds. Um, he's down and he's gonna do critical damage on his head. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I don't know why I'm rolling two dice. He, four, he goes to, you basically, uh, you knock him down, he loses his last wound and you slice off his ear. Oh. <laughs> I mean, so so anticlimactic anti for a sh massive chainsaw, but you just sliced off his ear, and he's um, knocked down to the. Uh, he's bleeding. He's got zero wounds, and you have sliced off his ear, and he is. I'm going to say that he's fallen prone because that sounds like okay. he's a bit mm. dangerous. 
Can I take can I take the ear as a trophy? I did just you, yeah, yeah I mean I mean yeah I mean I have no problem. This with is a weird imperial cult thing. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you could, we could show the Sounds ear to the other guy over there. <laughs> so one's running away though, right? Yeah, one's so running away. So one's trying to yeah, escape. Yeah. Can we? Should we chase him just, down? Do we think? The last one has just seen uh, you knock down his boss and mm. chop his ear off, <laughs> uh, and also attempts to make a run for it. But on the way out, as you've scared him away, we'll say that it just disappeared. Of course, what happens is your reinforcements hey. arrive. Hey. An army of uh, squill clad uh, exactors walk in. Um, some of them armed with weapons, because they've got mm -hmm. some bodyguards, and some of them armed with. Hold on, let me find some handy Arbites models to represent this. Um, <laughs> they all barge in and start. Um, oh. You know what would be good for this is your um, objective um, markers, Gary. Oh, yeah, they barge in and start yelling, down, 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 and they start arresting all the... Uh, the two surviving the, squads. It would be a good <laughs> idea for you to take off your disguise. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to take off my disguise. <laughs> okay, so the, uh, the, um, the, uh, oh, the, your, your backup arrives, giving you a huge advantage and immediately subduing the final squats. Uh, Do they capture the one that ran they, away first? They, okay. They don't, we don't know what happens to the one who ran away first. Oh, uh, he disappeared. Oh dear. Uh, so there's still a squat. There's a loose end. Uh, there's the a sequel. Comes in and is like, <laughs> agents, agents. Uh, we've received word from Ricardo Magentus that you uh, needed help in um, ex properly exacting this uh, tithe uh, uh, checks. Uh, we need to check this entire forge complex for rogue elements. Uh, as per our instructions, where should we start? I'm going to point out that the tithe is definitely short because there were only three presents in the sleigh. Oh! But there was just a big bomb instead. Oh, no! But I want to make yeah. sure they understand that it's not the bomb I'm complaining about. I don't, want to, okay. I, I don't want to mess with the paperwork here because we called in the tithe inspection. <laughs> and we need justification for that because the paperwork's going to be a nightmare if we mm -hmm. tricked them into turning up somehow. Yes. I want to make it absolutely clear that I'm not asking them here to worry about the bomb. They might choose to worry about the bomb, but that's up to them. I'm asking them to deal with the fact that there's only three presents in that sack. Right, OK. Yeah. And the Magos has been <laughs> employing um, unregistered Xenos. Unregistered Xenos. So there are, there a are, secondary charge. There are parts of the Xenos over there, a poor parts of them over there. Right. <laughs> so the true spirit of the Adeptus Ministratum uh, we're ending our mission with bureaucracy mm. and uh, yes. recording of laws. I mean, the laws you've recorded. And this will get you points with your patron. Yeah. The laws you've recorded are that the um, the Majos is uh, illegally employing off-world workers. Yep. Yep. Um, that the tithe uh, shortages. There's shortages in the tithes caused by the the uh, la the space taken up by a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> in in the, in the, in the uh, um, and, uh, as an aggravating factor. Yeah. There's a bomb. <laughs> they're the wasted material. They're, they're producing I mean that, all yeah. of these beautiful Primarchs and just leaving them in heat. Waste, wastage. 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 I mean, that bomb, the, the stuff they used to make that bomb could have been used to make more toy Primarchs. Right, yeah, mm. fair point, yeah, yeah. And of course, you the, the, the boots, a, the boots were all below spec. <laughs> and arrested Xenos, mm. who is yelling about how he was going to trick you into yeah. um, bombing your own planet out of uh, because of the heresy of not doing Sanguinara yeah. properly. But I, I do think that we actually should make sure we note the fact the boots were not spec. Mm. The boot, and, and of course, and the last non specification the uniform. Specification. Mm. And that's probably down to the Magos, let's be honest, because he's probably the one who supplied the uniforms. So although he's not actually the problem here in terms of you know, blowing up Christmas, uh, yeah. Sanguin Sanguinala, the, he uh, really ought to be providing authorised boots, and we should probably be checking all the servitors as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, injured members of staff would reduce efficiency, so yeah. that is a major failing upstairs. <laughs> Failure stop and, starts and at the top. There was very few... Um, uh, there weren't many handrails. No there hand was almost no handrails <laughs> at all. Right. So the results of this campaign are the team <laughs> of Tithe exactors spread throughout Majos's Forge World, um, they, they thankfully have come from your ship yeah. to spare Arbus Lighter. 
Excellent. Um, Can we recover <laughs> Pam still, though? No one knows what happened to the, uh, <laughs> the other Arbus Lighter. Uh, it's, oh. it's seen uh, about a week later still buzzing around the city, going in circles, uh, piloted by a very excitable uh, canid. canid. Yeah. yeah. So um, how, do we, how do we get Gary's Canid back? Well, I mean, that is the story for another adventure. Okay. Mm. In, in, in the meantime, uh, we don't know. You're, you're picked up by the Arbus Lighter and uh, deposited back. Your patron uh, comes back and, and congratulates He's like, well done, well done, everybody, on finding out the, the secret of why the tithe was, was lost on Grogulon 45. I swear the numbers change every single time you say it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Grumbulon 47 will no longer be, be uh, the, the mystery of the missing... So Grumbulax has become Grumbulon, uh, I think. In, in recompense, you are paid a miserly fee of 100 solars. You will get some experience, which we're not going to bother reporting because this is a one-shot. Uh, and we, we will find out the bureaucracy of the Imperium will continue to move on and the necessary punishments will be meted out to both the Majos and the staff and the Xenos and, of course, Grubulon 5, which did not have its normal Sanguinala parade. Yeah. However, in good news... The Rattlingson's uh, productivity quotas have gone up tenfold since we provided them with replacement trucks. Hey. Uh, no more bombings have happened, although it is, of course, uh, now they're in production for next Sanguinala. Mm. Uh, and uh, life has returned to normal, apart from the ever-present threat of the Inquisition, who may still uh, determine that the planet is a heretic. But otherwise, you know... Well, well done. done. <laughs> Can I check... Having done this mission, do I now get returned to my regular office duties? I'm afraid uh, none of you will be returned to our regular office duties because I, of course, having done so well on this mission, I will take you now to a different planet, maybe ah. an ocean planet or an Aztec planet or a medieval planet <laughs> for you to engage in your next thrilling adventure in the office of minor clerical and religious holiday items or whatever I said it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was it. That's that close enough. With that, the Tetlahorlith goes out and you are left with a plate of cold mince pies, another Grox, round of Gro Amasek Grox pies. Grox pies, another round of Amasek toddies, and the ship departs. The eternal taxation departs off into the void on wherever your next <laughs> mission will take you. Well done for completing... The squats who stole Sanguinalis. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. So there, that's, um, we think that might be a vague approximation of how Imperium Maledictum might work. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of, yeah. With many mistakes. With, See, I'm sure quite a lot of And lots of very high and low rolls. Yeah, I mean, there was the a lot of absurdly low there rolls. Were. There, there yeah. were. I'm, yeah. I'm going to say I've used up my dice luck for, for this month. Yeah. Why entirely good in luck this... in, yeah. in Imperium Maledictum? Both of you rolled like... With, with dice, Ross. With yeah. dice. I can roll <laughs> dice well in this game. We have to play I some don't more. know what to do. Yeah, well, now we've found a, a game that we can both roll dice in. Yeah. We have to play more. There we are. Yeah. Is it because um, you need low numbers in this game? Maybe. That'd be it. Yeah, <laughs> we need to roll That's low. what I do best. <laughs> Rolling a one is actually a good score for once. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, well, that's yeah. a lot of fun. Um, that's, that's very silly. There we are. We've, we've saved Sanguinala for another year. Uh, the planet of Grabulax uh, 5 is um, safe from the evil... Uh, predatory ways of the Votan, who were pretending to be squats in order that they might pretend to be mutants, in order that they might throw <laughs> off the trail of anyone chasing them so that they could blow up the Sanguinala sleigh. Hmm. But you have stopped them. Um, yeah, that's, um, so that's uh, Imperium Maledictum, or something a bit like it. As I said, this is our first time playing it, and it's quite a big book of, um, of stuff. But if you would like to play it better than us, we will be giving this away on the Patreon uh, next week because I've accidentally got two. Um, thank you. I should say thank you to Cubicle7 um, mm -hmm. for sending us this. Um, uh, sorry to Cubicle7 <laughs> for uh, the way in which we played it. Um, that may or may not have been the rules. <laughs> but, you know, it's vaguely there. Um, and as always, we, we, you know, we used about a third of all the equipment we bought. I, I used quite a bit of mine. Yeah. I, I got a lot of work out of uh, use out of my Lord Hala, best piece of equipment, piece and of my chainsaw. Great, like, yeah. like, uh, I yeah. didn't use my pitch recorder, and that's the main thing I didn't use. Yeah, you could have done some almost, We, we could almost have collected else. more evidence. Yeah. yeah. Collected more mm. evidence. Well, I downloaded picked and video and vid files instead of taken making my own picked files. Yeah. 
photo of the yeah. bomb. Obviously, I would have recorded the. I would have taken a picture of the bomb to take back for evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was. Uh, and I'm glad that Richard O'Brien. I mean. Um, I don't know who's Ricardo Magentis was pleased with our work. Ricardo Magentis <laughs> is very happy with your work at saving the crystalline sugar structures of the Sanx Christmas Sanguinalas for another year. Uh, we do not know what will happen to uh, Grobulax 14, but um, yeah, well, we, we I mean, will it's, find it's out. He's infested with Xenos, so probably exterminators. Well, I mean, and yeah. Chaos Heretics. And Maybe Chaos since, I yeah. mean... Yeah. I mean, well, I think it might be just best to nuke it from orbit yeah, just to be on the safe the side. In the tradition of the Imperium, um, You've 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 still won, but they might still nuke the planet from orbit. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Anyway, so, to be sure. Uh, as we <laughs> expected, a traditional uh, imperial victory in the game Imperium Maledictum. Um, join us next year. Thanks for watching this. This has been very long. I hope you've enjoyed it. It was madness. Um, <clears throat> we will be back <laughs> next year with more uh, Tale of Four Gamers and more normal videos. So uh, until then, um, may the Emperor protect. And happy sanguine all of us. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.